yes, y'all. Yes, yes, y'all. You know what it is. It's them kids and wives and nine two fives, but we are still married to the games. Episode two, three, eight. That's right. It's your boy Gabe Patillo with Tim Router, Ed Placencia, and Chris McCracken, of course. And as always, we are talking games and life, life and games. Thank you guys so much for being here. It has been a crazy week, hmm. and I have a crazy situation going on tonight. Oh, <laughs> start it up, brother! Yeah, start let's it. hear about I, it. Oh, you are, oh Lord, Roll have on. mercy! Roll on! I don't even I don't even know where to start. Like um, in the beginning. Yes, <laughs> a very good place to start. Yeah, that's right. Um, and uh, all right. So last time we talked, I hadn't been to Chicago yet. Right, right. Oh, that's right. That's correct. Uh, our ambassador is out in full effect. Yeah. Oh, I mean full. Full. Effect. I mean, yeah, like fuller than I think you've ever been. I ain't never been this much in effect. Oh, so awesome. <laughs> so jealous, right? Are now. you? Did you have a mass effect? Oh, <laughs> I mean, oh, look at you, Ed. Yes, and I didn't break a neck. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's mouths were fine. And the mouths fine. Hey, did nice. we mention this was oh. a night show too? By the way, night show, night show, night show, night show, night show. Night show. evening, evening, evening. Post Meridian. <laughs> <laughs> Finish him. Post Meridian. All right, continue. L- l- let me paint a picture of where I'm at. I'm in uh, uh, Toledo, Ohio. Yes. Lucky. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> People from Toledo would I've say heard, you are. Oh, wait. I've heard, I've heard this is the armpit of Ohio. Oh. oh. Well, you know, everybody part needs love. To, Toledo proved me wrong today. Toledo oh. was, is hey, awesome. Hey, there it's all right. I like it, man. They showed love today. It was great. Awesome. Um. So, no, okay, so let me back up. Okay. Last Thursday I was in Chicago. And I could not wait to get to Chicago because it was going to be a mini reunion, mm-hmm. and it was a freaking good time. Oh, nice. awesome. uh, Bradley C came out. Oh, nice. Josh yeah. Stapleton mm-hmm. came out. Street, Street team. team. Street team. Uh, Adam Paith came out. Nice. Paith. <laughs> uh, Nick Cooper. Coop. came out. Nice. Coop Dog. Coop diggity dog. Coop Keep rolling diggity. with them names. Keep rolling. And Scotty Lindsay and his yes. wife Stephanie came out. Double oh, nice. Got it. It was crazy. That is nice. awesome. So cool. I hate you. So there we were. Yeah. <laughs> um. So we started the day off at a place called Logan's Arcade. Uh, in Chicago, mm-hmm. which uh, Nick Cooper's brother actually works there. He's like the pinball tech. Oh, very cool. Nice. At this place. So he opened it up early for us. Oh, come on. Uh, you got the uh, VIP I treatment? The... Yeah, Doc, they rolled out the red carpet for a brother. That's right, man. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> what's funny is that, so Nick Cooper's brother opened it up early, but Bradley knew the owner of yeah. the place. Mm. And so he hit me up like, hey, I talked to the owner. He said he could even open it up early if you want to go with there early. I was like, uh, y- yeah. Because <laughs> I don't know. I don't know at this time that they're not the same person. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> so they were not the same person. Oh. And uh, and so, um, so it was all gravy, man. I walked in there. Those guys were playing already. They were playing Killer Queen. Killer Queen! That's a good game. I like that game. Finally figured it out, so I know how to play it now. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's key. That's, yeah, it feels that like we was We were struggling in Dallas. We were like, okay, yeah, we what, wait, what do we do? Hmm. But uh, figured that game out. Um, so we spent a couple hours there. It was cool. Talked to the owner for a little bit. I can't remember his name. They call, they call him by his last name. It starts with a Z. It sounds like Zaxby's. Hmm. And, you know, I know Zaxby's. <laughs> You know, fried chicken and all. But, um, <laughs> no, you. But uh, yeah, exactly. Chubby Ninja, in full effect. <laughs> um, and so we did that, and then um, went and had lunch at a place called Portillo's. Oh mm-hmm, yeah, which oh yeah, was delicious. Mm-hmm. Is that somebody's dog's name in gaming? Yeah, Greg Miller. 
Greg Miller's dog's name is Portillo. He has a wiener wow. dog named Portillo. There you go. Because it's a hot dog place. <laughs> yeah. There it is. <laughs> oh, I get what it. did you get? Did you get Chicago eh. style? No, I actually got a burger because Stephanie was like, the burgers here are amazing. Scotty's wife. Right. Uh, she didn't sound like that. Of <laughs> <laughs> yes, she does in my head. She's a heavy smoker. <laughs> Going she forward. She forever <laughs> will now in our heads. Like, right. Oh, you should get the burger. It's so great. <laughs> Next time I see her, I'm going to go she out. She puts your cigarette doing? out on the table. Yeah, oh. yeah, exactly. She's like, let me tell you, honey. You haven't lived till you had the burger. <laughs> like, <"All> right. <laughs> um, and so uh, we went there and hung out for a little bit. Ate. It was a good time. Sat across from Nick. We just, and I think across from Nick and next to Josh. So it was like the, it was the Zelda sandwich. Uh-huh. If uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That was the special that day. Josh, Josh is like, Josh is saying it's the best game he's ever played ever. I wow. Know. He's of not, all he's time. not the only one. Yeah. So. I, yeah, I know. That's not, I'm, that's what I'm, I know that. I, He's not. I, trust me, I know. Yeah. <laughs> we are reachable. <laughs> people on people on Twitter have let me know if Gabe doesn't think it's the best thing ever, he's not playing it right. That's right. <laughs> you will agree with me. Yes, yes, yes. There's no opinions here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna let you finish. Um. So we did Portillos. It was amazing. And then we went to a place called the Galloping Ghost Arcade. All right. And y'all, yeah. I, I have never, ever in my life ever seen so many arcade games in one wow. place. Really? Wow. wow. I don't know the exact number, but they boast somewhere above uh it's it's right above five hundred and eighty wow. video game arcade what? games in there. Wow. Wow. It's, so that's like Bradley C's crazy. favorite place, right? It's I mean, it's inc- uh, it's incredible. Is it wow. uh, uh like a you pay a fee at the door and you can play all the games for free or are they Yes. Oh, you couldn't have enough quarters in there. Right? It's funny because usually you pay $10 to get in a place like that, but that place was $20, which I felt was a little steep when I first got there. Mhm. They were like, it's twenty dollars. I was like, twenty dollars. <laughs> and then I, I told Nick and them, I was like, let's do a lap real quick. So we did a lap, and sure enough, that's worth every cent of that's twenty dollars. Wow, that's awesome. Well done, sir. Um, they had stuff in there I'd never even seen. Like I sent uh, Chris a, a picture of, I guess in Japan, they had a sit down shooter, Metal Gear Solid game. Really, I. I had never even seen that before. Chris, had you seen that before? I had heard of it, but no, I'd never seen anything about it before. Wow. Mm. Exactly. Wow. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> had to, I mean, there was so many things in there I played, y'all, that I'd never heard of. I was like, I, well, got to try this. Well, got to try this. Yeah. Well, got to try this. They had the hologram game that we've talked about on here, Time Traveler. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then they have its brother, which I think is called Hologram. The game is called that, I think. Um, that's going to be a oops for sure. But, um, <laughs> it, I mean, it's just like the place is amazing. I, I got, and of course, Bradley knew the owner of that place and I had actually met the owner. Do you guys remember when I went to the Midwest gaming classic with Bradley? I made yes. that video and I got to meet Jeff Lee, the creator of Cuber. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. So he was brought in by this guy, the owner oh, Doc, wow. Wow. at the galloping ghost. And so, uh, I got to see him and just kind of like pour out. You know what I'm saying? I was like, dude, Mm -hmm. this is incredible. Yeah. And he was very, like, very kind, very nice, very humble about it. Mm. And uh, you could just tell that, like, I mean, you don't have a place like that without having an overwhelming love for it. Yeah. Oh, sure. Um, Definitely. So uh, we hung out. Dude, and then everybody came to the show. Oh, nice. That's awesome. That's so great. Nick's wife showed up. Scott and Stephanie stayed. I mean, er- everybody went, and so that was kind of special just for me. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because yeah, like, sure. yeah. it's one thing. It's one thing to share this podcast, and it's another thing to share my livelihood. Like, right. you know, what pays my bills, what yeah. you know, feeds my kids, mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And you know, I already think I have the best job on the planet, which I do. You do, but it's it's just <laughs> I don't know. It was just real special to have everybody there. So yeah. it was really cool. That's cool. Bradley did yeah. stay. Bradley had something he had to do, and and he had a three hour drive home. Wow! Oh so man. He drove th- Jeez. Three hours over to hang out. Good for him. 
That's awesome. And stuff like that. Yeah. So shout out to Bradley. He doesn't listen, Absolutely. but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he still gets a shout um, out. Exactly. So it was just, man, I mean, Chicago, it was a special day. So That's to awesome. the guys that listen, Nick, Scotty, Josh, Adam, thank you guys so much. You guys, I mean, made my day. Uh, if you don't, I, not, I don't I'm not going to know everybody's Twitter handle off the top, but uh, they're all major parts of our Twitter community and stuff like that. So, mm. And obviously you've heard us talk about Josh a lot. So I, it was just, uh, it was one of those things, like you remember when we were hanging out at 200 and oh, we yeah. were like, why can't this be more often? Yeah. Yeah. It was like that. No, it's like awesome. you, it's like hanging with it's like hanging with the side of your family you like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. And, I hear and like <laughs> the other side didn't even bother to show. Right. And you're like, man, you know who I'm glad didn't show up? <laughs> <laughs> Aunt, Aunt Carol. I'm yeah. glad she ain't show up so we can have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just great, man. It was it was awesome. And so I was overwhelmed by hanging out with those guys. That's so cool, man. I'm so glad um, you got to do that. Yeah, man. And then, uh, let's see, where else was I last week? Uh, Pittsburgh. Got to go to Pittsburgh. I didn't post the picture because I thought it would be weird, but uh, got to hang with Big Ben a lot uh, there in Pittsburgh. He came out and came out to the show. I was going to say, you come to the show. That's awesome. Yeah, man, Big Ben Roethlisberger. So it was cool to sit and talk with him. We hadn't seen him in a couple years, so it was nice just to catch up with him. His wife was there. Got to talk about the kids. He had, I think we've, We've both had two kids since we've seen each other. Hmm. Oh and wow! So it was it was cool just to catch up on family stuff and yeah, get to talk. And he's a gamer as well, and so that oh, was I didn't cool know to that. hang out. Mm-hmm. Outside of football, obviously that's a game, but <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He did, yeah. <laughs> he's a gamer uh, of the video variety as well. <laughs> ah, okay, makes sense. Exactly. Um, and then uh, we were in Philly and Connecticut, Greenville, South wow. Carolina. Um. Did something happen in Greenville? Mm. Ah, I'm going to forget somebody. I don't think it did. Did I post anything? <laughs> that's, the, that's the big question. If I post it, then it happens. Oh, I hung out with Eric Green. We didn't take a picture, but uh, we did hang oh, out. Nice. Uh, nice. Eric Green and his wife, Elizabeth. Uh, we hung out, drove around to some video game stores, talked about the twins, and again, you know, just talked about family and gaming and so what great. he's doing he got a promotion at his job and so that was really beautiful. cool they came out to the show beautiful got to hang out with them so that was cool uh and then today thursday uh i'm in uh toledo ohio like i mentioned and I, you guys have heard me talking about it before but sammy sammy I, when i always say like yeah me colton dixon and this guy named sammy would always go to video game stores together mm-hmm. so sammy lives here in toledo so he came out to the show today he came pick me up at 11 30 and we just burned it doc and we met up with jared or yeah a, oh, oh nice. nice yeah jared drove like an hour and 15 minutes it came and hung out and uh we went to just video game store after video game. i think we hit up like four places today yeah uh everybody bought something did you no. buy something uh, yeah i bought something what'd you get there was a there was a store that had these joy cons for sale and I don't know what was going on, but if you look up Joy-Con on Target or Best Buy, them jokers are 80 bucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're expensive. This place had them for 50. What? What? Because they're a, they're a used store, uh. so they got them secondhand, but I think they got them in a bundle because the the Nintendo, like the, the tape wasn't busted. Huh. So they're like, we have to say they're used, and hmm. we can't sell them at full price. So we're selling them at the price we would sell them if they were used, but they were still in the box. Like I haven't even opened them yet. Wow! But I got them. I got them to preemptive uh, because I got them early because I know that I'm going to need them for that old Mario Kart Eight oh, right. Right. Ah. this month to get the wifey to play because she ain't going to want to play on the little Joy-Con turned to the side. Right. <laughs> she ain't got. She ain't got time for that. <laughs> Um, so, uh, I got that and there was like a myriad of things I wanted to buy. Oh, in Greenville. Did, did you guys see that picture where I posted that NES game that had Final Fantasy VII on it? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah what was that all about? So I didn't, I should have explained myself. So this is place, <laughs> there's this website called the repro, the repro bros or something like that or the retro bros. I don't remember what it's exactly. I put it on the tweet. 
but they recreate games in 8-bit. So when everybody was posting the thing like, oh, you dodged a bullet, you dodged a bullet, and they were putting up screenshots of like a terrible Final Fantasy VII title screen, Mm -hmm. it wasn't that. Hmm. They recreated the whole game in 8-bit. I had the the owner of the place start it up because I was thinking about buying it, but it was $80. Right. And so I had him start it up, and it looks awesome. Hmm. Hmm. All the text is there, like the train coming in. Now the opening scene's not there. It's still it's the, it's the NES now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like they totally recreated the game in it, it for the NES, and it's it's incredible. Wow. Everything's in English. Nice. So so why didn't you get it? Because it was eighty dollars. <laughs> well, I know, right. but I mean. I got three kids to feed. You know how much eighty dollars? Eighty dollars go a long way. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's only it's only thirty more from those Joy Cons you got. <laughs> uh, that's true, but I'm gonna use them Joy Cons. That, that's true. That game was gonna be something that would have just sat on the shelf. I wouldn't yeah. play that. Yeah. yeah, I got you. And they had a Buster Sword for sale today that I I came really close to buying. Yeah, what was that from? I didn't know what that was. Was that Final Fantasy? Final as well? Fantasy Seven. Oh, okay. And it was only a hundred. Buster. Any time. Anytime, yeah, Buster, what it is right now? Anytime I've seen, anytime I've seen a Buster sword that was recreated, it was two hundred fifty dollars. This thing was a hundred bucks. Mm. I was like, all right, I'ma sneak this in the house. You're not. Hey, babe, uh, can you get me something from the bedroom real quick? And then I like just run in with it and try to go hide it someplace. You can't hide that thing. It's you walking all stiff because it's down your pant leg. <laughs> She's like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, nothing. I just feel like yeah. marching today. Yeah, your your toe looks pointy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been working on my pirouettes. <laughs> um, so, uh, anyway, I'm overwhelmed this week, man. It's been so great, a crazy week since last time we talked. That's amazing, and uh, it's been just uh, hanging out with Jared today and finding out where he's from and just talking to him about what he's doing and what he's into. Hmm. You know, I mean, me and Chris, you know, brought this up a couple of weeks ago. It's just fun to do that. Yeah. Yeah, it and, is. And uh, to get to know the community a little bit better. And me and Jared played so much Destiny together. Oh, and yeah. And we've played so much Overwatch together. And so it's just really fun to meet these guys that I've played. I mean, hours, me, especially on Destiny. Me and Jared played hours of Destiny together. Mm. Oh, that's awesome. And so it's just really cool to meet him man and 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 to hang out so jared That's thank cool. you for coming down man taking the drive in the rain it was awful toledo weather today <laughs> and uh he made the drive and we freaking kicked it man it was great that's, That's great. cool uh playing zelda yeah i i've and? i've I've, he- I've heard through the community that it sounds like i don't like it yeah that's yeah. not the case i think i I think I'm not playing it the way people would like me to play it, which is fine because I'm playing it for the story. However, there's not a big story there hmm. if you think about it that way. This, the, the thing is to beat Ganon, it's not, but it's not like, I don't know, man. It's not like you're taking through all these, you know how Call of Duty or, or Horizon kind of like unfolds as you go? It feels like the world is thrown at your feet and they say, go get it. Huh. It's not like it slowly unfolds like a story would. Right. right? Yes. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but I, I'm definitely over the hill. I'm like, if somebody brings it up, I'm fiending to play it. Huh. You know what I mean? Oh, there you go. So when we're talking at night, I'm like, I know. Yeah, that's cool. And I'm thinking like, I can't wait to get to my bunk and play some Zelda. Oh, nice. Good. So Good, man. It is, I'm that's- definitely there. I'm not. I'm definitely not like, this is the best game I have ever played in my whole life. Yeah. <laughs> However, I am doing a little bit more exploring than I usually would. Mm-hmm. There you go. So right. I'm kind of like, I'm dipping my toe in. I'm trying to do it right. I'm d- I've still done like three divine beasts where like some people are like only doing shrines. And like I've talked to some people that haven't done anything to move like the story needle forward. Hmm. Where each divine beast kind of feels like you're moving the storyline forward a little bit, right? Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm enjoying it, man, and I'm in, I'm you know good. I'm enjoying it. I'm yeah. playing it every night. Uh, I missed it. I didn't take my switch home when I was when I came home yesterday. I was at home yesterday for like twelve hours. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I didn't take it home because I didn't want to be distracted. Yeah. But I definitely was like, 
I kind of can't wait to get back to that buzzing place. Really? Yeah. Nice. Well, there you go. So now my mission right now is to like find the good weapons, do the last divine beast, and take it on to the house. There you go. Yeah. So I checked how long I've played it. I, the It doesn't go by minute. It goes by chunks of hours. Hmm. So right now the Switch says I've played Zelda for over 45 hours. Oh, wow. Wow. So, so that's – Good chunk of time. Yeah. So if you push through, like, do this last, you said you had one more Divine Beast, is that what you said? Uh-huh. And so if you do that, and then you go on straight to Ganon or whatever, assuming that's what's next, like, if you defeat him, do you see yourself like, okay, now I want to go back and just explore, run, roam around? Is that the plan? Or uh-huh. do you, would you feel like you'll be like, eh, I feel like I'm done? No, I'll be done, yeah. 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 All right. All right. I got yeah. you. Not a whole I'll lot be on the Horizon missions. Zero Dawn, Bishop. That's right, right? No, Zero. there's a lot of there's a lot of side missions. There is plenty more that I could do. Yeah. yeah, but I'll probably do enough to get like the banging weapons, and then uh, do a couple more shrines, do another Divine Beast, get my hearts up, get my stamina up, and then uh, take it on to the house and see see what it do. And if Ganon's too hard or something like that, then you know you got to go back to the you gotta go back to the drawing board. Yeah, but I'll I'll hopefully defeat Ganon, and uh, I don't know what's after the game. I don't know if I can't imagine they have Link die or anything like that. But mm-hmm. I don't have no idea what's after that. So we'll see what's after that. But I probably, and you know, for the sake of the podcast, I'll probably put it down and and start playing some other stuff. There you yeah. go. Yeah, and that's fine, man. You've run your course. Forty five hours is that? What but I tell you what, forty five hours. Yeah. I tell you what, there's, I, and I was telling somebody this last week. It might have been Josh when he was, you know, going on and on about the best game ever. There's not a lot when you look at it as a game. There's not a lot you can complain about. There was like a frame rate issue which they fixed, but like the characters are great, the art is great, the controls are great. So it's not. It's a complete game. Right. And it's a, you know, and it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a really, really good game. Wow. Uh, I can't get there on best game I've ever played, but I think it's because it's not my style of game. Sure. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. That makes sense. And then, and then freaking Jared Orr today. Oh. Uh, he was like, Gabe, you need to go ahead and get that Persona 5. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I was like. Get behind me, Satan. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I curse you. <laughs> so I'll I'll probably end up picking that up only because he just, from the little I've read about it, they're like, listen, if you play Persona 4, this is not like that. Yeah. Hmm. And that's this good. is like into the action fast. Looks amazing. You know, this is PS4. I played you might got to remember, I played P- Persona played 4 on, on the Vita. Yes, you did. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So this is like full-fledged console it, awesomeness. I think you need to do it, man. I really do. I'm, I, I agree. might try to red box it and just feel it out. Well, yeah. I've no, been hearing no, the no. same stuff, that it kind of gets the ball rolling way faster than like Persona 4 did. I never played any Persona game. I'm, this is all just hearsay. Yeah. But it's still like... And I, I know you're saying like you try you try to just do the story, not necessarily everything in the game. But I'm still hearing this game is easily a hundred to two hundred hour game. Wow. Yeah, so well, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I don't do know how much that is everything versus just mainline in the story. I don't know. You know, but, you remember how many hours I played Persona Four? One hundred and fifty, something like that. A hundred. Hundred. Wow. So. But, but I just remember also, you being like, was Vita uh, too. oh, That's I don't want to do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. I struggled through that one. I so struggled I'm, through I'm it. I'm just saying, I prepare yourself <laughs> that if you open that door, you got a long walk mm. <laughs> to get to the other end. Unless, it's, uh, unless I just take it back to Redbox. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I'm saying if you pick it up, pick it up. Not that yeah, I'm discouraging exactly. you, man. You do you. I would be, I'd like to hear about it. I'm you've scared a, when I hear you've that. You've got a big backlog, <laughs> though, too, just like I do. So I don't know. You know, nah, man, backlog, schmacklog. Don't listen well, to that. I know, I know, but there's some things like I feel really weird that I haven't played Dishonored and Watch Dogs 2. Like, I, I really want to play those. Right yeah. there with you. I feel so weird not, not having Tomb played. Raider. Yeah, not having played oh, Watch Dogs man. 2 yet is killing me. I know. So I might I might play those three back to back and try to do those real quick. There you yeah. Because those got to be yeah. like, what, 12 to 18 hour games? They can't Something be that like long. Something like that. Right? Yeah, yeah, they can't be that yeah. long. Especially Tomb Raider, so, I think it's only like ten. Maybe. So yeah, Tomb Raider, you can go. Pretty I didn't play quickly it, but with. I heard that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'll be able to yeah. go quick with Tomb Raider. 
Yeah, okay. you could definitely knock a few of those out. That's me. Chris McCracken. Well, uh, I've been doing a lot of shooting at work, so I've been oh, pretty busy. Whoa. Not, not, How not angry on the road, are you? But nice. yeah, on this whole, uh, this entire week, actually, this was the first day that I wasn't shooting. I know. Right? <laughs> Sorry. Shooting video, excuse what me. What weapon are you using? Oh, 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 gosh. What's yeah. the gun of choice? I do video production for a living, so there we go. Whenever I say shooting, I always mean video. Oh, okay. <laughs> unless, I'm talking about, unless I'm talking about a video game, then I He's might He's a professional a marksman. Don't let him kid you. Right. <laughs> oh wait, what's that? Excuse me. Hang on. What, Mr. President? Okay, no, no. Um, I uh, so I've been Special I've been forces. doing uh, a lot of shooting. The days have been early start, but we've been able to finish a little bit early each day, so that's good. But I'm still like, I feel like a little like I'm dragging a bit because with the early starts and I I don't get to bed as early because I'm staying up, you know, playing something or doing whatever. But it's been fun overall. I'm gonna back up just a little bit. Um, last week we went and did this. This event, so there's this production company here in the Metroplex that uh, one of our creative directors has kind of like an in with. They they communicate and they you know we use them on a few projects here and there, uh, and they wanted to invite us in to show us just some new capabilities, things they can do and whatever. And they've been writing some programming stuff for virtual reality, and hmm. we're not planning to do anything virtual reality that I'm aware of, but they're like. Like, hey, you want to come to this demo and do virtual reality stuff? I'm like, uh, yeah, sure, go ahead, <laughs> I'll be there. Right. So I Amen got to, to use I got to use a Vive, which is Yay. my first time doing that because I ha- I never wow. got the chance to go over to my cousin's uh, and use his. What um, do you think? So here's the crazy thing: it was good. I enjoyed it. I really didn't feel like it was that much better than PlayStation VR in terms of visually. Really? Mm. Was it the content though? Well, there's there's that. So. I didn't play any like full on game games. They were mostly like tech demo y stuff, but they went like all over the board, all mm. different kinds of things. Like the coolest one that I did is I don't know the names of any of them if they had any names, but I played this one where uh, it's Star Wars themed and I'm on Tatooine and then I think it was Tatooine. And then like the, the Millennium Falcon comes down and then I have to do some little stuff with R2 and then these soldiers start coming and I get a lightsaber and I got to block their shots and. There's all these different things going on. That was the coolest one that I did. Plus a couple of other things. This one with the bow and arrow where you're shooting these little people running around. Um, and it was all fun stuff. But like visually when I'm looking at this, just talking about looking at the screen, there was definitely less anti-aliasing and all that kinds of stuff. And you could tell that lighting was definitely better because hmm. it's being run off of a PC. But I was expecting it to be like night and day difference. And it really wasn't. It was more like dawn to midday to me. So yeah. if anything, what it made me do is it made me feel like, wow, PlayStation VR did really good for themselves. Mm-hmm. If they're able to do good enough to feel like, you know, they're not crazy far behind like the Vive, which the Vive out of all three is the highest end one. Mm. And I'm, I, I want to make be very clear, like it was obviously a better product than PlayStation VR. I'm not trying to say they're on equal footing by any means, but I just was expecting it to be like way further better. Yeah. And it really wasn't. Except wow. for the room scale stuff, that was neat. Being able to walk anywhere in the room, while within you had to with to stay within the bounds. There's like a blue screen or a, like a grid that would come up if you were going out of the field of view of the cameras. Mm-hmm. So you couldn't go all over the entire room, but you had way more mobility than you do like most of the games I've played in PlayStation VR outside of um, Job Simulator. I've been sitting, and even with Job Simulator, I was standing, but I'm only like leaning or reaching my arm over. I'm not really like walking around. Yeah, right. There hasn't been anything that I've played in PlayStation VR where you could do that because hmm. it doesn't have room scale. You've got to stay in front of the camera. And if your like hand goes behind you or anything, like it loses the track. Whereas with the room scale, it doesn't matter where I go. And the controllers, mm-hmm. the controllers are really awesome. I really liked the controllers. They felt very comfortable. They were very intuitive. They worked. Now, granted, it was hooked up to a big PC, but like they were really quick and fast. I didn't see any kind of like lag or anything weird in it. So I was actually pretty impressed with it. Nice, I just was nice. expecting it to be way, way, way better, and it wasn't. I was like, huh, that's that's neat to have that perspective. Yeah. I was glad I got that opportunity. Are you still playing nice. your uh, PSVR at all? I have not played it since Horizon came out, and I, I finished okay. Horizon, but I, I, I the other last week I was going to pick it up, but I, I've been, you know, with the shooting and stuff at work, I haven't had as much time to game, and when I did, well, I'll talk about what I've been playing later, but no, I haven't played it since Horizon came out. Okay. Like, I, I like, mainlined... It was nothing but Horizon. So, mm. I do awesome. have I have a a game, a full game Wayward Sky that I, I bought right before Horizon came out, and I haven't played it yet. So I will be getting back to it here at some point because um, I have a, ga- a game I haven't finished or I yeah. haven't even started yet. 
Uh, but yeah, I, no, I haven't touched it since then. It's been hanging on my little hmm. my little hook I've got over here. Um, then my this weekend was also my niece's birthday, so I got to go hang out with some family then and, and see my little niece and nephews and nieces and nephew. Um, and then Sunday, Stacy came home, so she's back in town. Yay! Yay. Nice. I don't think she goes out again for probably a couple of months. I think. I, oh, I that's know, awesome. Right? Good. Yeah, so it's gonna it should be a nice little stint here uh, at home. And then, so a lot of people in our community, like on Twitter and stuff, just you know, we have people that talk about all kinds of stuff. Talk about video games. Talk about wrestling. Talk about comic books. Mm-hmm. And another thing that a lot of people talk about is anime. Yeah. yeah, And I was like, you know what? I've tried little bits here and there to watch anime stuff and try to get into it. And it's just never really worked. I was like, you know, I'm going to give this another shot because I want to I, I want to feel like I gave it a good go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I found out that uh, Death Note, which is a one an anime that a lot of anime people are always like, oh, this is one of my favorites. It's on Netflix. So I started watching it. Mm-hmm. And it's it's really good. I like yeah. it. A lot. <laughs> nice, nice. I was like, Scottian. oh my gosh, I can't believe I, I have gotten into it as much as I have. Oh, that's um, cool. I, Dude, I don't know. Like, anime is off the chain, is why. Well, yeah. See, I've always liked. It's kind of like um, how I said with "Don't Starve." I was saying like this style of game has always intrigued me, but I've never really kind of been able to get into them. Hmm. Anime is the same way. Like most of the anime, I think the art style is really cool. I've just never really been able to get. And there's there's different styles of anime, and I don't know all the names and everything. You know the art style that's similar to like uh, Dragon Ball or or like Pokemon that that kind of. I, yeah. I feel yeah, like yeah. I'm saying more cartoony, like that kind. I don't. I'm not interested in it at all. But the style that they're using in Death Note, a little bit more realistic looking in a way, the way that they draw it. Hmm. Uh, right. With that, just like slight exaggerations. Yeah, just slight exaggerations rather than constantly like everything they say, their mouth's opening wide open and like, ah, bah, bah, bah. you know, that that just annoys <laughs> right. me. But and they the just con- have like the sweat bead come down their face like, Err. yeah, constantly mm-hmm. like, oh, no, I dropped my apple. Err, and, you know, it's the it's going down their face. Um, but yeah, Death Note, I'm I think there's like I don't know how many seasons there are, but there's like 37 episodes complete. I think I'm on like 18 or 19. Wow, oh, nice. Wow. Yeah, and it's and they're only like 20 minutes long. Right. So I can watch like two or three, and I feel like I haven't really been just spending like a ton of time <laughs> you doing it. You feel guilty. Yeah, because yeah. I've watched two or three episodes of House of Cards, and I'm like, oh my gosh, really? It's this time already, you know? Yeah. yeah. So that I think that actually is adding to the intrigue of it. It's like, oh, I can knock out two of these, and I feel like I've advanced in the story, but yet I also haven't like spent a ton of time having to do it. Right. So to all you anime people out there, if you got more anime that's similar to the vein of Death Note or or like maybe they don't have to be kind of suspense in the way that Death Note is, but go ahead and send them my way. I'll nice. I'll check them out. But they've got to be man. they've got to be on. like on Amazon Prime or Netflix, something I already subscribed to. I don't want to buy an anime with, you know, I want to try it first. <laughs> I'm not going to Look at us expanding our horizons. That's right. I know. I tell you what, man, I was big I mean, obviously I was big in a Dragon Ball but there was another one called like Giver that I loved back in high school. Obviously, Ghost in the Shell, I loved back in the day. That's another one I've heard a lot about. But it's is it? It was only a movie, right? I know it was also like a comic book too, or something, right? But they didn't yeah. have an animated series for Ghost in the Shell, did they? Do you know? I don't know. I'm not sure. I always just watched the movie Akira, yeah. the movie, obviously. Yeah. Which has got the green light? Oh yeah, for the movies. So well, one of the yeah, other things that's, that's that some good really stuff out there, and it's so far, it's so ahead of where the West ever was. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if you think about, like, I think I talked about last week, uh, Power Rangers. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, how far ahead of its time in Japan, for America it was, where we weren't watching it till the mid-90s, early to mid-90s, and they had made those in the mid-80s, you know? Yeah. So, I like it. I'm glad you're trying it. One other thing that kind of sparked my interest about Death Note in particular. And I was like, I want to give this one a shot when I saw that it was on Netflix is because their Netflix is doing a live action version of it as well. I think it's going to be a movie. Uh, it's going to come out like in August. And there were people, you know, there's some people that have problems with, you know, the trailer and I'm, I'm not of getting course. into all that, but I was like, I want to, I kind of want to know what the source material is before I watch that. Cause it, the trailer looked interesting to me and I was, and I'd always heard about it. Like I said, so, so to those who, Told me about check out Death Note just over the years. It's like I'm finally doing it, and so far I think it's awesome. So good for you, man. Um, gaming wise, the only game that I have played is Shadow of Mordor. Oh I, yeah, 
I went and started it back from the very beginning, uh, and I am at about 60% through the game. I'm about 16 hours in, and I'm liking it way more this go-round yes. than I did the first go-round. Yes, yes, What's yes. What's changed, you think? I, I still don't think that it's like the end of... Kind of like how people are reacting with Zelda. They didn't say, like, Shadow of Mordor was the best game ever, but so many people were like, oh, this game's so good. I'm not quite to that level. Well, I think people do that because it was such a sleeper hit. Like, yeah. nobody, it's not, when it came out, it wasn't like, oh my gosh, Shadow of Mordor, go get me Shadow of Mordor. And then people yeah. got it and they were like, wait, why did this game get more love? This game is great. Right. You know? it, it's, it was a slow burn for Shadow. I mean, it, it came yeah. out, I think, one in September, I think. And then by, by the end of December, they were already selling through. So they were, yeah, they yes. were doing great. Yeah, it was so. an early, like late summer game release. Yeah. I think. Yeah, Something I like think that. you're right. Yeah, I'm excited that you're you're into it though, and I I think you're gonna enjoy it as you go more and more, especially in the in Nemesis system and all that fun stuff. Well, here's what really opened it up for me, and when I first played it, I didn't get to this point, and it's one of those things that when I opened this part up in the game, I I was like, oh yeah, this is a thing. It's like mm. I knew it, but I never had reached it, so I completely forgot. But I'm, and I, I don't, I don't think this is spoilery. But just in case, spoiler warning, I'll give you a couple seconds to pause or move ahead. There's a point in the game where you're able to overtake other orcs. Yes. Like you can control them. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that's not until like probably fifty percent of the game or something like that. Like I'm pretty, I was pretty deep into it, and I was like, oh, that totally changed it for me. Yes, like, it does. Up until that point, I was like, well, I like it better than last time, but I'm still not like loving it. I kind of felt like I was a bit going through the motions. Now you have allies. Just to do it. Now I'm like, oh, wait a minute. This changes the game a little bit. This yes. like makes me look at things. Now there's kind of more of a method to my madness. I'm not just doing these tasks just to be doing them. There's like, I'm plotting and I'm scheming and yes. I have to like and you have an army all these now. war chiefs and I got to figure out how to do it. Yeah. That definitely it changed it for me. If I, I hadn't reached it. that point, I may I may have stopped again. But I'm so glad I pushed a little bit further than I had gone the last time. Because the last time, I had gotten to about 48%. So I, pushed, I was like, I'm going to push a little bit more. And then I think around 50, 55 is when I unlocked that ability. I was like, that? Okay, now I get it. This makes more, much more sense to the hype. I love that, man. I love mm-hmm. it. Good. I'm super yeah, so excited I'm, for I'm you. I'm definitely planning to finish it out. Um, and I, I kind of... I kind of want to because I want to be able to move on to something else, even though I don't know completely what it is I'm going to do next. I just I'm in this mode where I'm like I just want to play games, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Absolutely. But I don't want to play two at one time because I, even today, like I haven't played uh, um, Shadow in probably two or three days since the weekend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I right. jumped in there just a little bit before we started recording, just to I wanted to check like how many hours and what percent I was at, and I played a little bit and I was already forgetting the buttons. It's like oh crap, I don't I don't want to forget. That. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I'm all, I don't want to do old that. Man. I know. Yeah, I hate that. So, because that's one thing that kind of bothered me the first go around is like, I just, some of the button combos weren't intuitive to me. And so I know if I'm not doing it, I'm going to forget it because I'm expecting to hit this button to go and instead it's this one or whatever. So yeah, I definitely want to just keep the, the pedal to the metal on it, but that it's been a lot of fun so far. So. That's great, man. And that is it Good, for me. man. Uh, Timmy, Tim, 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 Yes, Tariq. sir. E. Bob, how are you, sir? Uh, we got, we got Piper's topic of the week. Bring and it. it is Ooh, let's hear it. Four goals she scored in our soccer game today. Hey, what? hey, our team's good this year. <laughs> it's the oh, same. Yeah? It's the same team. They just woke up a little bit, and we got we, we go. We got two other girls, and one of the girls is just a baller. So we're like we're over the moon right now. Coach Dave and I are like this is awesome. But uh, this like we've only had one game and the season's already a month in because we've had uh, so much weird weather. So like last Saturday was the first game that they played and they did really well. Everybody was doing really well. We had a practice this Tuesday, which was pretty much a disaster because they were all just all over the place. They were all tired coming out of school and pre, you know, pre-K and what have you. So they it, like, it was like herding cats, just trying to get them all together to do something. And then, uh, we had a we had a game tonight. We have a game on Saturday. We have another game on thir- next Thursday and Saturday. So 
the uh, we're back and uh, and it's been really great and I'm so proud of Piper. She was she scored four goals. She's man, she's good. She's aggressive. She's like using the elbow a little bit and uh, <laughs> and like and I'm saying Piper watch go the high, elbows. Go high. Yeah, I'm I'm saying Piper watch the elbows, but inside I'm like yeah, girl, get that. Go go go. Uh-huh. But, uh, it's really it's really great. So she's doing really well, man. Uh, my life is just I feel like I'm just all all kinds of out of sorts still. Um, and it's not because we've moved. It's just, it's all about work. I've got all these projects happening all at the same time. I have been, we may, we may have another narcoleptic tiger claw moment tonight because I'm dead tired. I've been up since three. Uh-oh. this. <laughs> I've been up since three this morning. I've been up since four every day this week, just trying to get as much stuff done as I possibly can. So I'm, I'm, Wow. Hopefully seeing some light. I am taking quick little breaks to play one or two games of Rocket League just because I got to play something. But um, it's just been it's just been absolutely insane. Um, and it's just it's just, you know, life stuff, too. I mean, we had a meeting yesterday for the new house. Oh, the new house, by the way, they already have the frame, uh, the framing done on the first floor. Uh, oh wow! And they're, oh, good. They're working on the 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 second floor joists are going up now. We've been going there every day. It's really exciting to start to see everything. But man, they are moving quick. Every day you're going by there. Every day, twice every a day. Every day. Oh, every day. Snap. Yeah. So we're going there just to, and like uh, some of it's just to look and see what they're doing. And then uh, like last night we went in and like looked around in the house because they they had uh, most of the framing done just to check and make sure everything was where it was supposed to be. And, uh, you know, it was great. But like we had a a what's called a low voltage meeting, uh, which was basically where we're putting all of our uh, cable outlets, uh, security systems, that kind of stuff. And that lasted what, three hours yesterday. So I didn't get anything done yesterday. And, um, Mm. it's just, it's just been crazy. It's just, I don't know. I don't get it. I'm like, I just, so I feel so out of sorts. I have a backlog that's the, I don't know what I'm playing. I, I'm almost ready to be like, I don't know. And I'm just not going to play anything. But I'm like, I, I got to yeah. figure something out. I got to get back gaming into routine. Gaming paralysis. It, yeah, that's exactly what I have. For the past three weeks, I have had gaming paralysis where I just, I'm just stuck. So I'm going to Old Faithful, a little Rocket League here and there because it's an easy pickup game. And uh, and that's still fun. And that that brings me a little bit of joy. I take a quick break and then I go right back to, to work. So it's, uh, yeah, it's it's just been nuts. But, I mean, on top of that, so we've got soccer for Piper gymnastics, but here's something cool. On Monday, uh, my buddy over at Ribbo is like, "Hey, I got two tickets." Or, I'm sorry, Tuesday. I got two tickets to the Predators games. Do you want them? So me and Piper had a daddy daughter night. We went to the hockey game together, Yay-o. and we had so much fun. It was great, even though the Preds lost in overtime. But it's okay. We're still in the playoffs, which is awesome. And I apologize tonight, Chris, for the spanking that we did on the Stars. We beat them seven to three. Oh, uh, did they? Man, I I, yep. I hadn't even I haven't even had time to check in on. But things. you're going you're going through a transition season anyway, and we've been yeah. there, so it's all good. Definitely. But um, so yeah, we went to the hockey game and uh, we just had a great time. And she we were walking out, and she's like, "Daddy, I had such a good time with you tonight." And I'm like, "Yes, that's my oh, girl. that's the best. That was it's, great. It was so awesome. Nice. She wore, she wore her pink Predators jersey and you uh-huh. know they they scored a goal and it was Mike Fisher who's the captain and she likes Mike Fisher and it was just we ate pizza together and it was just it was I had a ball with her. It was so much fun. So that was a, a nice little highlight of the week. Uh, on the just on the gaming front, I'm just playing some Rocket League and just playing Clash Royale when I can. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm hoping that by this next week I should be back on track, and uh, and then I can start. I don't know what I'm starting yet, but I'm just gonna go through, look at my backlog, and be like, all right, it's gonna be this game, and then hopefully I'll be able to get into routine. I want to start playing games with you guys at night on like a Saturday night, but I'm just so tired that I just don't bother. Yeah. And it's just, yeah. I mean, I, w- I, w- I need some, I need some community love, and I'm not getting any. I miss my morning crew. I want to get back into that morning too. Crew? So, so I got to get to it. But yeah, man, I'm still adulting. It kind of sucks, but uh, that's uh, that's pretty much it for me. You got to do what you got to do, Bishop. I know, uh, man. I gotta pay. I gotta pay some bills. I gotta. I gotta feed my family because I'm living with my parents right now still. <laughs> well, my in-laws. Are you clash? Ro- are you clash royaling? Oh yes, yes, like a beast if I can. 
So, uh, like, I'll still do that. That's that's good hashtag poop life, and that's just good taking a little break. Hey, I'm gonna just play a game <laughs> or two here, and uh, so I'm slowly but surely crawling my way back into the three thousands, which is nice. But uh, yeah, that game, man, it is just it just gets you every time. I'm just like, ah, oh, I gotta play it, gotta play it. It'll grab you. It always does. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm it's, playing a game called Balls right now. Yeah, with a Z. Oh, yes, sir. What? B a l l z. Really? That junk is fun. All right. Balls. Balls. Is it that yeah. fighting game? Yes, no, it's, it's, it's like, like a. It's no, it's not a fighting game. It's like oh. a, where you like. There's a bunch of numbered tiles, and you have to try to ricochet it off, and and you know the numbers go down each time you hit the square. And oh, that's cool. It's, like, it's really challenging. It's really huh. fun though. Well, right, like is that a mobile game? Yep. It's stolen like it's stolen a little bit of Clash Royale's thunder. Ah, nice. really? It's really fun. Interesting. It's a great pick up and play. Yeah. Wow. I'll well, have to check really it out. Got to check it out. But anyway, I'm just trying to think. Yeah, just you know, soccer teams back in full, soccer's in full swing now, and uh, building the house, living with the in laws. That's actually going very well. Um, Good. I feel, I, it's kind of funny. I feel like I'm in a hotel. But uh, my mother-in-law has been, <laughs> been super sweet. Like, she'll just do stuff. And I'm like, Ma, you don't have to, like, do our laundry. She's like, oh, I went in and did the towels for you. And, like, I'm like, oh, can we get a chocolate on the pillow too? But I think <laughs> right. that might be yeah. – but, I mean, like, she – like, I I made a, a blue apron last night. And, um, you know, I'm just – I want to be helpful and not – you know, we're not trying to be slouches. But it's like it's funny. Like, Lauren and I haven't – had really a second to sit down and just chill like we've just been running a gun and there's something that ha- that we that has to be done or that that we're running around for whether she's got something at work related mm. or we're just we're just constantly moving and it's like crazy i just want like i want a weekend where i can just chill i gotta go clean my car man it's a freaking disaster i haven't done any of that it's just we've got we've had birthday parties uh for a lot of piper's friends in school and it's just it's life man it's adulting hmm and uh there you go yeah uh, that's how it is so that'll happen so mr ed i pass it on to you man how are you doing doing well doing uh doing really well um uh adjusting to indiana life and uh it's been a really nice adjustment Uh, i was about to say it's probably the best is it is it definitely is it slower or is it a lateral pace from lancaster i would think it's a little slower oh it's yeah it's definitely slower um you know, we'll go out, and if some if something's open later than nine, we're surprised. Yeah, so it's that's like, yeah. Franklin too. <laughs> yeah, it's like, whoa, it's it's open. All right, cool. Yeah, um, let's go. Let's go in here. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, but um, yeah, it's just been nice. Uh, my brother was away uh, for his uh, with his family for spring break, and so finally he, they finally got back and got to hang out with him. And um, we had uh, a game night last weekend. We've got one coming up this week. I guess our TV Tuesdays are now game night Fridays. And nice. uh, right. <laughs> there you go. It's just been a lot of fun. Um, uh, my uh, sister and brother-in-law, uh, Stacy and Nathan, and they're the, the the family who always come out to who would come out to Lancaster for Christmas. And so now we're oh, yeah. in town with them, and it it's just been really nice because you know Nathan will come over at night after the kids are in bed and his wife is like, you know, I'm going to work on my blog for a bit or something. So he'll run over here for an hour, hour and a half and play games. Oh, fun. And, uh, it's just been really nice. I introduced him to until dawn this week. Nice. <laughs> oh, it's nice. been so much fun. Uh, we, we, I, I posted a, a quick clip on the, yeah. uh, on the Twitter this week and, uh, the next, night or a couple of days later he came over and there's a huge jump scare that nice. oh yeah i wasn't filming but he it happened and he simultaneously threw the controller onto the floor <laughs> as hard as he could oh no and jumped up out of his chair and wouldn't sit back down for like a minute and a half <laughs> perfect <laughs> and, perfect that's amazing it was so funny to watch. I wasn't even concerned for the controller. I was just having such a good time watching him jump. And uh, he was actually he came back over tonight, and probably 10 minutes before we started recording, he left because he finished the game. And, oh, good. man, it was wow. such a fun ride and oh, just good. so much fun to watch. You know, and that's one of the cool things about that game is that there are, you know, everyone can live or everyone can die or four people can live and six people can die. And so it was just fun watching him play the game in a way that I didn't play it or Chris didn't play it in his walkthrough yep. that I watched. And 
it was just so much fun. And he asked me, well, he didn't ask me. He told me I would pay money to see Gabe play this. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He watched. I don't even know the man. He watched Gabe's uh, your uh, your VR that you did a couple months ago of the uh, that scary that game. Stupid idea. <laughs> yeah, it was the best idea ever. <laughs> and he said I would pay to watch Gabe play this game. And I said, you know, I I don't think that it would be uh, suitable for our channel if Gabe played this game. Yeah. <laughs> Very true. Very true. Oh. I'd be so scared. Oh, but man, it. it was just so much fun. And uh, Do you still actually, have a Resident Evil 7? Can he play that next? You know what? I, I got Resident Evil 7 pulled up for him. I, I download, re-downloaded Alien Isolation. Oh, oh yes. Yes. There you go. Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> so, yeah. There you go. In the, in the meantime, we actually... Um, it's really weird because I don't enjoy... Pl- pl- I did enjoy playing it a bit by myself, but we've been playing a lot of Borderlands. And uh, just doing... Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Thank and people you. say they say it's better together. It is, and we've just been having a lot of fun, and it's you know it's something that we can we can and talk while we're playing it, and just you know kind of you know hang out while we're playing. So that's been a lot of fun. Oh, so um, is, is the next step Overwatch for him then? I don't know. Well, he doesn't have a PS4. He's only uh, and, oh. and I, that's what I play on. Oh, that's uh, right. So yeah, so tell him to go be somebody's best man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, see, that what works. You, do. you pull up a sign and say we'll be best man for PS4 Pro. Uh, exactly, right. exactly. Stand on the corner, <laughs> cardboard right. sign. <laughs> exactly. That's all you need. Um, let's see. Oh, I, I played uh, the latest chapter in The Walking Dead: A New Frontier. Ooh, how are you liking and it? You know what? I really this uh, this episode particularly I enjoyed, but I noticed that I'm starting to not really be a fan of some of Clementine's decisions. Ooh, oh, interesting. Okay. And it's You're not are you controlling her in this but, game? No. Some, ooh, okay. So some That's of which That's why. Yeah. Yeah, okay. you're not controlling her and before it was very easy to side with her no matter what happened and now it's like, mm, you know what? Uh, you know, and, and without giving anything away, there's a flashback where they kind of say, "This is why Clementine doesn't like this person." And afterwards, uh, I was like, "You know what? I I think I'm with this person, Clem. Uh, you were kind of out of line." So it's wow, wow. wow. yeah, Jeez. it's it's weird to see that the 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 shift in her as her character ages, and um, also props to Melissa Hutchison who voices Clem who. That's got to be hard to voice someone who was, you know, maybe 10. uh, Yeah, a sweet little girl. Yeah, Yeah. and now she's a few years older, but she doesn't sound like an adult trying to sound like a kid. She still sounds young, but still older, and it was just kind of a... It's very nuanced. Change. The yeah. subtle differences in the the age ranges as as a, she's gone on. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. Very much so. Interesting. Um, yeah, so it's been it's been interesting to play that, and I I, I had a, such a good time playing it that I went back and restarted The Walking Dead: A New Frontier from episode one just so I could play it and record it for the the YouTube channel and, oh, and put it up perfect. there. And uh, and uh, are yeah, you, it was, are you liking this season so far? I really am. Yeah, I, I, the first episode I wasn't totally sold. Uh, but, but then that's as, always like set up a setup episode typically. Exactly, anyway. and it's all it's a lot of new characters, and uh, I got to give props as well to I played through all three episodes before I realized that one of the main characters is the main character from Mafia Three. Oh, there um, you go. Oh, oh, wow. So Alex Hernandez, who plays the lead guy in Mafia Three, plays a totally different character in this one. Had no idea. Wow, that's uh, that it was great. the same guy. So love when that happens. Nice. Love when that Talent. happens. I know, right? Hashtag performance matters. <laughs> <laughs> that boy good. That boy real good. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right? But yeah, it's just it's just cool to hear him, especially since I've been jumping into Mafia 3 again, to hear it, him go from, you know, a black guy in the South in the 60s to a Hispanic guy in present day zombie land. And, wow. and it's just... Again, like Chris mentioned, just the, the the nuances and the different ways that, yeah, it was just really well done. It's like okay, this guy's playing two different characters, and yeah, that's uh, awesome. And, but it sounds like he's just talking in his natural speaking voice each time, so it's it's yeah, really I'll impressive. Leave. Yeah, um, maybe he was a young black child growing up. Maybe he was. <laughs> Might have been. <laughs> he started <laughs> off. Uh, he was born a young, a poor black child. 
Oh. Exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's just been uh, it's been nice uh, hanging out with Dad, who refuses to let us pay for any meals, which is not a complaint by any stretch right. of the imagination. Right. Yeah. I know that's right. And Tell him I'm coming to Indiana. So. <laughs> there you go. See, <laughs> get that checkbook ready, right? Because we're all yeah. hungry. Because yeah, I'm the chubby ninja, and I'm coming to town. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's but right. uh, yeah, it's it's been it's been nice. It's been a, a, a good a good week um, back in the old uh, the old hometown. So we're you, looking forward to another game night this weekend. You, you guys feel moved in now? Like pretty much everything's in. Yeah, pretty much. We've got a lot of. We still have a few boxes that we haven't unpacked, which to us is a good thing because we know that that's stuff that we don't need to bring with us anymore. Yeah. Um, yep. You know, and and that's our kind of our approach this time around has been. We'll leave everything in boxes until we need it, and a year from now, if it's still in the box, then we know we Gone. don't need it. And yeah, yeah. Yep. So it's been that's, nice. That's good. That. That's really good. Yeah. That's a good thing to do. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's been a nice week, and uh, that's that's pretty much me. I think I definitely have stuff in the garage that's just covered in sawdust and yeah, bits of my finger. I was gonna say <laughs> and blood and bone, <laughs> and bone chip right. <laughs> that I know that we haven't <laughs> needed. <laughs> Oh, what do you know? A fingernail. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> but uh, but I know Jenny's Jenny don't like throw stuff away for some strange reason. Mm-hmm. So she's good at purging and not good at purging. She's good at purging what's in front of us. Yes. Yeah. But she's not so much good at like if I'm like, babe, look at this stuff. Like we're not using. Let's just get rid of it. Yep. Yep. You know, but then she might be like, well, let's get rid of your motorcycle. And I'd be like, I mean, I, yeah. So you want to <laughs> keep that then? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Because that Point hasn't taken. gotten much use. Right. Yeah, exactly. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's yeah. about to, though, man. It's about, awesome. that t- it's about that time for riding season for you. I need I need a motorcycle cleaning service to yeah, come you do. through the crib. <laughs> yeah, you do. You tune that junk up. Right. Exactly. Uh, nice. Is that it, bud? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, You know, I decided that uh, I was going through some of my... my uh, my back catalog and I, I thought there's a lot of games on here. I just never tried whether they're free games that I downloaded and just never picked up for whatever reason. And, and, uh, I, I don't really consider it a, a pile of shame just because they were, they were things I didn't intentionally say, I want to get this. Yeah. Uh, So kind of picked up a couple and decided I'm going to play at least every game, at least once just to say that I played it and ended up, ended up playing shadow of Mordor for about an hour. Yes. (laughs) Thank you. What do you think? (laughs) Uh, it was it was it's cool. I, I it didn't hook me, but it was kind of a fun diversion for for an evening. I, I enjoyed. it. I'll probably play again. Well, I'm gonna buy you one of these one dollar bundles. And, no, uh, you no, you're not. Out, <laughs> no, <laughs> you're not. <laughs> Don't you do gotta that. You got to find one game in there. You like. Don't do that. <laughs> right. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give awesome. you plenty to do. Exactly. <laughs> That's great. There you go. That's funny. All right. Well, Tim, you got it, baby. Yeah, buddy. Well, let's do it! All right, we got some new releases this week, including we got some Rocket League download uh, DLC, people. The Fate of the Furious is out this week. So we got, uh, that's a little action. I realized that because uh, I did play a little this morning and there was a big 1.3 gig update. So I had to wait for a little bit. I saw that, yeah. But uh, I haven't. So what is the DLC, do you know? It's based on the the Furious movie, I believe. No, I get that. Is it just like a couple cars? Uh, Probably. I don't know. I haven't, I I have no idea. Drive around as Vin Diesel's head. (laughs) Yeah, well, I know Vin Diesel's, uh, his, that, what was it, that, uh, the Challenger or whatever from the first game? I know that one's in there. Or Charger, maybe it was. I don't remember. Hmm. The black muscle car. I know Mm -hmm. that's one of them. And I think there's a couple other ones from throughout the series as well. I don't know how many it is. Somebody told me the Supra was in there. I don't know. I'm Groot. That's cool. That's awesome. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I haven't been able to check it out, but yeah, go check it out, all you Rocket Leaguers. That'd be great. As Mr. Gabe Patillo said, Persona 5, PS3, PS4, it is out this week. I don't know, man. I think you should what get it. What rating did it get? I did not look. All right, oh, okay, sir. I can look it up real quick, though. Um, it's at, okay. I was just wondering. Okay, as we move on, Bulletstorm, full clip edition. Man, that game is, what, four or five years old? But I think it's coming out for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Hmm. Um, Hyper, there you go. Hyper Light Drifter for the PS4. Drawn to Death for the PS4. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. That's the free one, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's free yeah. with PS Plus. Yes. Uh, Eduardo, Lego City Undercover, PC, Switch, PS4, All and right. Xbox One. Yeah, and then man. it looks like we got some DLC for Dead Rising 4, Frank Rising, for the PC and Xbox One. Nice. So that, there we go. that is it for some new releases. Um, Mr. Spencer, Spencer Stapleton. Yeah, Spencer Stapleton. I have to do it. Mario Kart Double Dash was released on the GameCube, not N64. Hashtag MTTG. Ah. Oops. Ah. Yep, 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 yep. At Bad Gamer Elite. Uh, at BreadFan35, three Horizon Zero Dawn bows. Hunter, War, Sharpshooter. Also, the Tripcaster is Amazeballs. So, I don't know. What did you say? Did you say two last week or something? I think I may have said two. Yeah. yeah and okay. and I, I hit him back on Twitter. I was like, I wasn't a fan of the Tripcaster. Once I caught something to replace it, <laughs> I didn't use it again. Oh, did you? I like the Tripcaster. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. I found it too slow to it's use like, when I'm in battle. Uh, I was going to say it does take a minute to set up. You have to like go hide and then kind of set up and then be like, over here. Yeah, every time um. that I did use it, I would set the trap and then I'd go make the mayhem happen and try to lure them to it. But I just found, man, I'm just going to run at them and make this happen. There you go. I'm hey, awesome. Yo. I can do it. Shoot first, ask questions later. I like that. It's so the- is it, does it, have you gotten used to the fact that it's like the the shoulder buttons to attack? Yeah, I got used to that pretty quick. Man, that was always so weird for me. Like, my knee-jerk reaction was to, like, use circle or something like that. Mm-hmm. Huh. And I was like, ah, shoot, I'm, it's supposed to be the trigger buttons, you know, mm-hmm. like you're shooting a gun. It's, Interesting. It's a little different. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely a few little differences, but I, I was able to adapt to those way faster than most of the time when something's different. Huh. Right. Very to the cool. point where I don't even remember what the differences were at the moment until you mentioned it. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, there's that. Hmm. I can't wait to start this game. Oh, I know I'm going to love it, too. <laughs> I know it. All right. Anyway, that's it for me. Back to you guys. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice and easy. Uh, Chris <laughs> McCracken, kick us off. Bro. I think that I did. I think I did see a oops. I don't know if they hashtagged it, but I did call the Divine Beast Guardians last week. Oh Zelda. yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And uh, I know the difference. What a I noob. Just, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was five thirty in the morning at the time. Yep. But I shouldn't make that mistake. Mm. It's all good. It's all right. Everybody Chris makes McCracken, mistakes. All right, well, so I'm going to start with what is the biggest news this week so far. Um, Digital Foundry was invited out to, I think they were invited to Microsoft to get a look at the Xbox Scorpio, mm-hmm. and they were able to divulge all of the the tech specs of the system. Mm. Yep. So I'm going to go through real quick and just, uh, I'm going to say the specs for the PS4 Pro and then the Scorpio because break it, down, it doesn't really make sense to now. yeah it doesn't really make sense to read out the specs how they compare to Xbox One or PS4 because they're better let's just say that yeah there you go. <laughs> so, way better so um, the PlayStation 4 has an eight core CPU at 2.1 gigahertz Project Scorpio has an eight core CPU at 2.3 gigahertz okay on the mm-hmm. GPU side the PS4 Pro has 36 uh, compute units at 911 megahertz Scorpio has 40 at 100 or uh, 100 1,172 megahertz. Now, here's where it starts to get even more interesting. So, the PS4 Pro has 8 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM, which is the same that uh, that the PlayStation 4 had. Project Scorpio has finally moved over to GDDR5 RAM. They were at DDR3, and they have 12 gigabytes. Ooh, as opposed I couldn't to believe that when I saw that today. Wow. I did read somewhere else on one of the stats that the way that they're going to run it is that eight, a full 8 gigabytes is going to be dedicated strictly to games, and then the other four gigabytes are going to be used for OS and other features and things like that. Whereas hmm. right now, like on the PlayStation 4 uh, and the Xbox One, um, I, if I remember right, it's like one to one and a half gigs is allocated strictly for like the OS to run and do things. Mm-hmm. So the Project Scorpio is going to allocate a full eight gigabytes to uh, whatever games you're going to be running. Um, as far That's as the bandwidth, crazy. yeah. As far as the bandwidth on the memory, the PS4 Pros is running at 208 or 218 gigabits per second. The Scorpio is going to be 326. Wow. Hmm. And then it is at least they're saying on here that it is going to be coming with a one terabyte hard drive, and it is also going to have the 4K uh, Blu-ray drive, which the PS4 Pro just has the regular Blu-ray drive. Hmm. So, and it's six teraflops, right? 
Yeah, it's well, roughly it's, it should come out to be around there. They didn't do, I don't think they did any actual testing to see what it was getting out of that. But they did see the only game that they reported on seeing running on the the uh, Scorpio was Forza Horizon, or uh, I think it was just Forza, the sim, the more semi one, not the kind of arcadey one. And it was running in a native 4K at 60 frames per second, and it didn't drop. They said it didn't drop a frame. They were able to test it, and that's crazy that it was 4K 60 frames. Yes. Yeah, that's insane. And it is going to be using, um, they, they were saying that the vast majority of the games, whether they're old games that they're upscaling or brand new games, should be able to run in a native 4K. Now, obviously, it'll depend on the, the developer if they're going to hit the 60 frames per second or whatnot. But they are also going to be using um, the checkerboarding, which the PS4 Pro does, where, where it may be needed. Uh, and they'll be able to, I think it's called Super Sample down to 1080p, which the PlayStation 4 Pro only does that with a couple of games. It doesn't do it on all the ones that it has a PS4 Pro patch for at the moment. I don't know if that's something that's going to be coming later, but Hmm. everything on the horizon makes it seem like the Scorpio is going to be able to deliver on that which they said it was going to do. Hmm. So Good. They didn't it's, say the price though yet. No, they, no. They yeah, so that was one thing. There's yet. been a lot of there's been a lot of speculation back and forth. And Digital Foundry, which is the only people who have been out there so far to actually see the thing running in action, based on all their stuff that they said, they said now Microsoft gave us no hints of what the price is going to be, but we're guessing it's going to be four ninety nine. I think oh, they're nuts. Really? Wow. I think they're nuts. I, I think it's six hundred dollars. I think it's going to be six hundred dollars. I don't. Just I don't the, the gigs alone, that going from eight, what was it, eight? No, four on the PS4 to twelve. That alone is no. It's eight on the eight Xbox on the PS4. Eight, They're going to twelve. Yeah, eight to twelve. That four gig difference it will always up the price. It's it's the it's the same with laptops and computers. Like r- gigs and RAM is always going to so be so funny because RAM is so cheap. Well, it's hmm. it's honestly a bigger deal about the GPU, and I think yeah. I think this is a Microsoft made GPU. If I, I didn't get to read everything up on all the little specs parts, so I'm not a hundred percent on that part. Um, but it, like I've said for a while now, I think this thing is going to be like six hundred bucks. The more that people are coming out saying we think it's going to be four nine nine, I'm like, okay, I could maybe see five fifty. But hmm. if this thing comes out and it's four ninety nine, that's pretty good sweet. on you, Microsoft. Yeah, that they is are sweet. eating a heck of a lot of cost to make that happen. Yep. Hmm. I just don't see that happening. But Yeah, not with the and components. And especially the that way that there. the way that Phil Spencer keeps coming out and he's been coming like over the last couple of weeks or so, he's been having little interviews here and there and going on different podcasts and whatnot. And he keeps reiterating and underscoring how this is a premium device. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the way that he keeps underscoring that is telling me is like, there's. I just don't see it coming out at five hundred dollars. The same price mm-hmm. the Xbox One was when it launched. Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, it would yeah. be great if they did. I'm not. I'm not complaining if they hit that number, but I just. I, I feel like they'd be eating so much cost on it. I, I just, I don't know. I, I don't, mm. yeah, I think yeah. you're right. I, and that's the big weight that's kind of on them right now because now that they have the specs, now all eyes are on, yeah, 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 that's all great. What's How much is it going to cost us? And, uh, you know, they have to be really careful with that price. And I wouldn't be a bit surprised if those profit margins really take a hit uh, because they're going to want to try and keep it as low as possible uh, to make it, you know, it, albeit still saying that it's a premium div- uh, console, but they they want to keep those costs as low as possible. So I yeah. don't know. It'll and be interesting. Phil Phil Spencer again in some of the interviews and things he's been doing, he's all but completely said like, "Look, we know this is not going to be our top seller. This mm-hmm. the X, we still expect our main console sales to be coming from the Xbox One S." Yeah. He's like, but we have a, a segment of our community out there that wants something like this, and we want to provide it to them. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't think they're going into it thinking, oh, we've got to really sell. I think, and I, I was talking with some people on Twitter about it today, but I was just like, look, in my opinion, what Microsoft wants is they want a fresh start, and they want to come back out, and they want to own the mind share again. Because mm-hmm. it doesn't matter if the majority of their console sales are the Scorpio the fact that Microsoft can plant that flag and say, we have the most powerful console, mm. that gets in people's heads. Mm-hmm. And that's going to make it to where unless there's a marketing deal and there's some kind of reason that they have to, the games are going to be reviewed more often than not on the Xbox One Scorpio or whatever its official name is going to be. Just like this, whole, most of this entire generation, almost all the time, if it was a multi-platform game, it was being reviewed on PlayStation 4 
And then if they could review it on another one as well, they would do the other ones. They would just mm-hmm. list it, though, usually. It was almost always done on the PlayStation because they tend to review games wherever it performs the best. Right. And that's what Microsoft wants. They want their name to be out in front again. They want to their name to be the one that's in your mind when you hear best ever, console, most power, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter if you yourself buy it. Yeah. It matters that the perception is that they're on the top dog. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because all that's going to do is bring more people in the fold. The more that people feel like, oh, Microsoft's top dog, the more people that are going to be interested in their stuff, whether it's the top of the line version or, or, or not. Yeah. And then it's just going to depend on like a bunch of people have been docking and they're like, oh, yeah, but how much does the power matter if there aren't games? Well, we'll see what they do this this E3. They keep talking about how like we're really excited about the direction we're going with and the games we're going to talk about. You got to think they're going to bring out something that's going to be like a killer, a killer game like it'll run best on on Scorpio. I don't. I right. mean, it could be a Halo. We're kind of around the area where we could probably use another Halo. It's been a little while. I could totally see like we're dropping a Halo with Scorpio. It'll play on the Xbox One S, but man, it's going to look banging on Scorpio. Yeah. I mean, they need something. They really they're gonna do. have something. There's no way they're gonna bring this out and like totally rely on third parties. Yeah, no. They uh-huh. they definitely need something. They've got a plan. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm excited to see what happens. I'm excited for this E three. Yeah. To see what they what they do. I wish I could make it to the freaking conference. Hmm. That's Sunday, right? Yeah, yes, I think Sunday. I think they're doing theirs the day, and they're, I think they're doing Sony's. their Sunday also early in the day on Sunday, something like that. Yeah, last oh, time right. it was in the morning. It was like, like nine, nine yeah, it was morning. nine o'clock in the morning. I remember that. Yeah, and it, and it was on the Monday, so they they're keeping the. I don't know if the one they're doing this year is at nine in the morning, but they're definitely keeping the morning slot. They just moved a day earlier. Hmm. Right. Yeah, they want to. They're like the first thing out out of the gate, saying like, "Hey, we're Microsoft, and this is what we got to say." <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. They want to hit the ground um, running. Sticking with Microsoft, Ed, did you get your um, Connect adapter for the Xbox? The yes, X? I did. It arrived last week. Well, good thing, right? Because they are not giving those away for free. No, no more. No, oh, they're snap, not. They aren't. <laughs> no, no, sir. <laughs> they, they decided to shut that thing on down, and so it's done already. It kind of like came out of no place mm-hmm. um, uh, for a lot of people. They didn't know that they were. St- going to stop doing that. Um, but now you can buy it for $40. Oh, good. I was I was like, yikes. Yo. That seems like, like, that seems like they should be selling that for like $15, like an adapter. Yeah, right? I know. Um, so if you missed out on the freebie, I'm so sorry. You can buy it for $40, though. There you go. <laughs> you can exactly. spend your hard-earned money on it. If you really want to dance, <laughs> you can spend yes. $40. Right. <laughs> so they said that, I guess they had, I don't know if this ever got out there, but they said that the Connect Adapter program was always supposed to be a limited time offer, yeah. offer in tandem with the launch of the Xbox One S. Mm-hmm. I do feel like I remember hearing that, yeah, that, that they were familiar. like, oh, this is going to be temporary, but it, it, the time frame seemed so long that it was like, oh yeah, everybody will take care of it by then. Yeah. So. Right. So August to May. So uh, I would have thought it would be longer. August to April, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it would be a little bit long, too. Like, I thought maybe they'd, you know. But I know, what's that, six months? I mean, I guess that's long enough. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, yeah exactly. What else you got, Christopher? So for a very brief bit of time, it was kind of exciting in the PlayStation exclusive world because we were thinking that the bomb had been dropped, that Spider-Man was going to be released in 2017. Because Ryan, I'm going to say Pentagos is how you say his last name, the vice president and executive editor of Marvel Digital. He was on a live stream. I can't tell it's where the live stream was. Pentecost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just Jeez. kidding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Settle down there, sir. Easy. <laughs> we ain't going to church just yet. Hang on. Are you sure? <laughs> Pass the offering. <laughs> but he was on a live stream for some place. I can't see because on the clip it doesn't tell what the live stream was. It was just a screen grab. But he was saying that there's even more on the horizon for 2017, like Spider-Man coming to PlayStation 4, Mar- Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. So everybody was like, oh my gosh, Spider-Man's going to be this year. So much so that Insomniac Games had to tweet out and be like, look, there has been no time frame release (laughs) announced for (laughs) Spider-Man. We all so need hold your horses. Down. Everybody <laughs> yeah. calm down. Bring it on. I was super excited. I was like, oh, heck yes. Bring on the Spider-Man this year. 
And then I was like, ah, oh, no too way. good to be true. Too yeah, there's no way I can pull that These together. marketing people, they're always just, whatever. We're going to say <laughs> things and make you happy. Whatever. <laughs> they just like to get the likes and the retweets. Right. Pops. Um, so there was a new trailer that dropped, I think it was last week, called uh, NBA Playgrounds, mm-hmm. hmm. which looks like NBA Jam. Oh, really? Yes, and it's coming out in May. And I'm so excited because it looks awesome. What's it coming to? Um, it's coming to the Xbox. It's coming to the PlayStation. It's coming to PC. And it's coming to that old Nintendo Switch. Wow. Um, mm. And so it's just that super cartoony, jump out the building, two-on-two NBA goodness. From downtown. From downtown, from the parking lot. <laughs> so it's gonna be awesome. Go check out the trailer. Uh, IGN dropped it. It looks awesome. It's gonna only be twenty bucks. Um, so it's it'll be download only. You won't be able to get it physically, but hmm. download only twenty dollars. NBA Playgrounds. So it'll be uh, you can play solo, obviously, local. Multiplayer and online multiplayer, which I will never ever play online, probably. <laughs> yeah, right. um, but it's uh, developed by Saber Interactive, which that name was not familiar to me for some reason. Hmm. They make printers, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, it's it's made by Hewlett Packard is doing this game. Right, <laughs> that, that was a deep cut from the office because there was a printer company on there <laughs> called Saber. <laughs> they, oh, was it really? Mm-hmm. They bought Dunder Mifflin, so yeah. <laughs> I figured That's I was the funny. only one that was going to laugh at that, which is fine because it tickled um, me. <laughs> but it is an it is an NBA licensed game, so oh, nice. LeBron and all those guys will be on there. So it'll be it'll be awesome. Nice. That's so, cool. And it's coming out in May, so it was nice to kind of see a trailer and be like, "Hey, you're going to get it next month." Right. I was like, all right. That's pretty cool. I like that. I thought it was an April Fool's joke at first, but I was like, "Yeah, I'm putting too much time into this." I didn't see any April Fool's jokes this year, to tell you the truth. Uh, what was the? Oh, I saw one for um. GTA, the TV show on IFC or on AMC. Oh, that's funny, huh? But I didn't it, see any stuff either. It was the the production was so cheap, you knew that it wasn't real. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're like, with all the money that game's made, I know, right? They just sent out an intern and a and a <laughs> an old and a freaking uh, GoPro. <laughs> exactly. That's awesome. What else? You, what else you got, Christopher? Well, Mr. Gabe, if you decide to go ahead and pick up Persona Five. Mm-hmm. Yes. You need to make sure that you do not stream that game, or that if you yeah. do, you abide by all the strict rules that Atlas has put forward. Because that's what I heard. What they the are going not on? Want, They are not about no streaming. Really? At all. Well, for one, on the about? on the PlayStation Four, they have completely blocked the ability to stream from the PS Four. Because you wow, know, other right? developers, Sony's always been like, hey, you know, certain developers they can block certain scenes or block whatever they want. You can't even use streaming from within the console on the PlayStation Four. And wow. they've put out rules that says that if you do stream it, like through your PC or however else that you do, whatever other means, you are not allowed to show any gameplay past uh, early July, which I think is a very early portion of the game. I, I guess it goes in seasons. I'm not really sure. I've never, having hmm. never played a Persona. And you can't upload anything. Your uploads are limited to 90 minutes in length. You, they can't be any longer than that. You can't show any boss, boss battles, and you can't show the ending of any dungeon fights. That game must be horrible. And if you break any of these rules, they're going to start throwing out copyright strikes and strikes on your channels, whether it's Twitch or YouTube. Man. They're just going to be throwing them out. They're like, we ain't playing. Don't be doing Whoa. this. Why do you think they're doing that? I saw that. I was like, why do that? The, what they're saying is they say, we want this to be as spoiler-free an experience as possible. We don't want anybody having anything spoiled for them. That's their whole so reason. What about print? I, everything that I've that ever gets spoiled to me, I read. Yeah, right, I, I right. mean, I hear what you're saying. I've not seen any kind of kerfluffle about anything written in print. Maybe mm-hmm. it's there in their guidelines as well. But yeah, all <laughs> I've been seeing is them saying, no, you do not stream. Or if you do, you stream like this a little bit and that's it. Huh. That's so, really interesting. I did see. I was like, I wonder what the what's, the, what's all up in their craw about that. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Um. I've got a partial list for all the things they're fixing in uh, old Mass Effect Andromeda. Oh, yeah. Bring it. Bring it. Uh, al- allowing you to skip ahead when traveling between planets in the galaxy map. 
increasing the inventory limits, improving the appearance of eyes for humans and Asari characters, decreasing the cost of remnant description keys and making them more accessible at merchants, improving localized voiceover lip sync, hmm. fixing riders' movements when running in a zigzag pattern. <laughs> <laughs> just, in case, just in case an alligator's after you, you know, yeah. what I'm you're running in a zigzag. <laughs> Did anything Improve, work in this game? <laughs> I know. Improving matchmaking and latency in multiplayer, more options and variety in character creator, Imp- improvements to hair and general appearance for characters. <laughs> Fix they mouths. On go on exactly. Fix they everything. <laughs> Ongoing improvements to cinematic scenes and animations. <laughs> improvements to male romance options for Scott Ryder. Because mm. people were really mad that you couldn't be uh, homosexual in this game. Mm-hmm. Adjustments to conversations with uh, Hanley Abrams. Don't know who that is. Uh, and that's the end of this this thing. Wow. But uh, that's a lot. Yeah, it is. They're like, so uh, we also were just uh, re-releasing it. Right. We made a new game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's called Mass Effect Andromeda. Forget about the first one. Play this one. <laughs> It'll be $62. <laughs> it actually went the up extra, in price because we had to put extra, in this effort for the patch. Yeah, the, ex, the extra $2 for the lip sync. <laughs> <laughs> we hired Man. the best lip artist ever to make this happen. But at least, at least they're hearing people and they're yeah. trying to fix it. Yeah, that's true. That's what you want. Isn't that right, Tim? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes I'm just making is. sure you're still with us. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I'm here. Um, so, I mean, I, I, listen. The patch thing is getting out of hand. Yes. <laughs> you, almost, you almost don't want to buy anything brand new because you know it's going to go on sale, and if you buy it right away, it might not work. But, I, you know, Zelda proves people wrong. Horizon I think proved people wrong. It wasn't like they need a huge patch to have that work okay. Uh, I hate that this would fall on a game like Mass Effect Andromeda with all the pomp and circumstance that it came out with. Mm-hmm. But you have to be also on the other side of the coin happy that they're listening yes. and they're yeah. trying and that they're putting try, wanting to put their, I guess it's not their best foot forward, but like their fourth foot forward. <laughs> a foot. <laughs> a foot of some sort. Yeah. Yeah, eighth foot forward. They're putting a foot forward. Right. And, and honestly, foot, that, that makes... That's stepping forward. You're right. That makes me happier, though, to know that they are listening. They're trying to... Like, I would gladly uh, take the time to do that, to download, install, however big it is, so that the game is fi- is fixed and that I can continue playing it. Mm-hmm. So is that's... anybody playing that yet? Nope. No. no. Dang it. I think I'm going to wait till it goes on sale. <laughs> Which should be now. At this point, but I mean, yeah. I know with, with the patch and all, shoot, right? Yeah, I don't know. Hook a brother up with a discount. That's right. Uh, Chris, what else you got? Uh, well, Gabe, and for anybody else that's in your your shoes at the moment, uh, you can try well, Dishonor two, two. Stories. Yeah, you can make you can try Dishonor two this weekend. Ooh. The first three levels for yeah. free. Yeah, mm-hmm. man, that's gonna be available oh, for PlayStation Four, Xbox that. One, and on the PC through Steam. Yep. Everybody so do that. I like that. Everybody so if you do that. you haven't given it a shot and you don't have a friend that can give you the game or let you borrow it, might as well go ahead and download it and do those first three levels, see what you think. Yeah. It's great. It's good. There you go. Uh, what else you got? Because I'm out. Uh, the only other thing that I have is that uh, Batman Arkham VR, which has been exclusive to PlayStation VR since October when it released, is now officially coming to the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift is going to be available on April 25th. That is an awesome game. I really liked it. So if you have one of those two headsets, definitely give this a go because I say it's worth it. There you go. There and it was only go. 20 bucks on PlayStation Network, so it's probably going to be like, what, five on Steam or wherever else you get it? <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, everything on the PC side tends to be cheaper. Mm-hmm. So go get you nice. some VR on. There you go. And that is it. Eduardo. Yeah. No, 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 they do that, Brad. What? <laughs> <laughs> that was Mushmouth for what's going on over at the YouTube that they're breath. Over on the YouTubes, uh, let's see. Brand new this week, we've got uh, some Horizon Zero Dawn part 58 through 65. Wow. Is that the end? Yep, it's over. It's all up there. The end. Go watch yourself some. 
and uh, The Walking Dead, A New Frontier. Uh, all of that that's been out so far. 13 videos are up there, so you can get caught up with that as well. There you go. Looking at our top 10 YouTube videos, combining average watch time and views for the week of March 28th through April 3rd. Number 10, Watch Dogs 2, Part 6, Bottom Dollar Complete. Ooh. Oh, that's low. That I know, low. right? I don't know what's going on. Uh, number nine, Ori in the Blind Forest, Part 14. Don't mess up! Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Number... A chorus of idiots. <laughs> <laughs> but, mm. but idiots with great timing. That's right. That's true. N- number eight, Hugh, Part 10, University. Number three, Mafia 3 DLC, Faster Baby, Concerned Citizens. There you go. There you go. There we are. Number six, Mary Did the Games, Episode 237, Koji Mario. That was hey. a great picture, by the way, Tim. Oh, yes, man. One of, my, oh, thank you. one of my favorites of all time. Yeah, that was that was a fun one. I'm like, oh, I should probably do this. It just like, I was like, yes, let's do this. So good. <laughs> uh, number five, Watch Dogs 2, Part 5, Bottom Dollar Fail. Okay. Weird. They're usually right next to each other. Yeah, yeah, they kind of split apart so this weird. time. They're fighting this week. Oh, yeah, exactly. They're, yeah, they're not getting <laughs> somebody, along. Some, somebody didn't bring somebody donuts home. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, Hugh Part 11, the ending. Number three, mm-hmm. Watch Dogs 2 Part 19, paint job. Number two, Watch Dogs 2, Part 48, Ghost Signals. And number there one, right back where it belongs, Gabe and Chris uh, react to The uh, Last of Us Part 2. You're welcome, guys. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching it, Tim. No problem, baby. <laughs> That's awesome. Love That's it. great. <laughs> Good to be back. <laughs> Good, to be, yeah, yeah, Good yeah. to be back on top. <laughs> Resting in the lead. Exactly. Um... Well, every week we ask you guys a question. Last week was no different except for the fact that uh, Ed put it on the forums and stuff this time. Weird. Because he's responsible. <laughs> like that. Yeah, and he's also going to be editing this week's show. Thank you, Edward. I love it. My pleasure. I love doing that. You do? I do. Yeah, I love editing. Are you kidding me? Don't tell me that. Shoot. I've been telling I'll you be that. like, uh, <laughs> I just don't feel like doing it. There you um, go. We asked you guys, what game series do you wish they'd make more of? Starting over at the forum, and I got to give him a shout out because I hung out with him today, Jared Orr. There you go. He said, I'd really, I'd really like to see a Bloodborne 2. Hmm. Yeah. Which we'll probably get at E3. Also, even though they already announced, I'm really looking forward to Red Dead Redemption 2 and Borderlands 3. Mm. I don't know if I knew about Borderlands 3. I don't think I did either. No, I didn't. Yeah, they. they uh, I don't they think s- I did either. They announced that they were. I was doing hoping it. that would slip past you. <laughs> <laughs> da da. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, exactly. I'm like a mouse trap with them flubs. <laughs> Jeez. M T T T. Oops. It's pronounced either. <laughs> I don't know which one it is. <laughs> what were you saying, Chris? I was just saying they they had came out and said that they were working on Borderlands Three, and oh, then okay. they had uh, I think it was at the dice summit or whatever, one of those things they showed a render just of kind of the world and one character just, they were talking about something different, but everybody was like, Oh, that must be a clip from borderlands three that they're working on. Oh so, yeah, yeah. That's uh, right. They were talking about shading or something yeah, like that. And they yeah. weren't talking about borderlands three, but the clip they were using, everybody was like, that's gotta be from the upcoming borderlands three. Right. So yeah. Mm. Uh, Greg leg back in the day, Raven software made a series of fantasy first person shooter games using the Doom and Quake engines, Heretic, Hexen, Hexen 2, and Heretic 2. I would love for someone to revive that series, even if the basic concept lives on already. Hmm. 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 That's kind of cool. Uh, There's a long one. Stay with me. Okay. All right. Robert Daryl Good Jr., the third. Oh, he's going to slow it down. He's and he starts. It's funny. He starts it with "Oh man, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have too." Kingdoms of Amalur: The Reckoning was developed by Thirty Eight Studios with a story penned by New York Times bestselling author R. A. Salvatore. Mm. Gameplay designed by Ken Ralston of Elder Scroll Four: Oblivion fame. Art by Todd McFarlane, the creator of Spawn Comics. With those three at the helm, every aspect of the game was unique, original, and incredible. Unfortunately, 38 Studios neglected to pay its employees and came under investigation by the FBI. Oh my gosh. The other 
The other would be Brutal Legend. It was a unique RPG slash strategy game based on heavy metal rock fantasy lore with the creators of Psychonauts at the developmental helm. It featured a cast of all-star vocal talent from the likes of Jack Black, Rob Halford. Is that how you say that? Halford? I don't Ozzy know. Os- Ozzy Osbourne and a long list of others. And the story was on par with anything you might see from DreamWorks. Hmm. But the developer, Double Fine Studios, has never been fully appreciated. I would love to see either of these IPs find new life, but the chances of that are slim to none. Hmm. Hmm. Well read, Robert Daryl Jr. Good Jr. the third, Esquire. <laughs> <laughs> MD. 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 Uh, over on Facebook. We have got, uh, usually I can highlight these and have it picked out already, but I'm doing everything off my phone this week, and it sucks. You're doing well. Uh, thanks. We got Alex Plante. I'll just say plant, but it's got an E at the end. Okay. Plant. 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 <laughs> I'm surprised no one said Knights of the Old Republic. I think oh, yeah. About time, I think it's about time we get a new Star Wars RPG game. Hmm. I like that. I think it's about time we're going to see a teaser trailer because Star Wars Celebration's coming up, and that's usually yeah, that's, that's usually when they reveal. I mean, I think that's when we got a little taste of Force Awakens, so I'm I'm pretty excited. Yeah. I think we're going to see something. That's right. Uh, Antoine Stinnett. I have two. I would love hmm. to see them bring Zone of the Enders. And fight night back because I would love to see those two games running on current gen consoles. I am totally with you. Where's our fight night game? Hmm. Mm-hmm. There you go. Come on, EA. Those games are good and they look amazing on any console they've ever been on. I can't imagine what a new fight night would look like. I've actually tweeted out to EA, yeah. me, EA about <laughs> it, and they did not get back. Mm. Oh, that's <laughs> shocking! Nerve. Shocking. Uh, Cohen Grizzard. C-O-H-E-N-G-R-I-Z-Z-A-R-D. Mm-hmm. I know there's all the legal issues, but the NCAA football series, madness fun, but just doesn't compare for me. Yeah. Hmm. Those are good ones. Yeah. Good job, guys. Uh, yeah, bring back the NCAA. Those games were fun. Jeez Louise. Uh, over on the Twitter, uh, Mike BC at Mike BC 1985 Toe Jam and Earl. Wolf Among Us, yes. Worm Jim, oh, yes. yeah. Star Siege. Here, this one's for um, <laughs> this one's for Chris. Diddy Kong Racing. Uh. <laughs> more, <laughs> Did you just and hear that? Lego dimension, and more <laughs> Lego Dimensions, please. Oh, uh, that's not gonna happen. Wayne Mullen at Evil Wonka. More Fallout. No one can never. Oh, wait, one can never have enough Fallout. I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> really? That was a lot of Fallout. There's, 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 there's four of them. One yeah. just came out. Yeah, I know, that's, right? And that's, that's a lot. Just the four alone yeah. was a lot. Yeah, I know. Hermes Mer- Mercurius at H underscore Mercurius. Uh, <laughs> that's like somebody saying, like, why'd you do that? You're like, oh, it's just um, Mercurius. <laughs> why'd you do that? Well, I was even Mercurius. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was curious. I was my curious. <laughs> um, medieval. Midi, medieval by Sony Cambridge. I remember that game. Hmm. It had an awesome soundtrack and a great art style. And of course, Legacy of Cain. Couldn't agree more. Soul Reaver was so good. Um, and then Splig at uh, Dopalicious said, I was about to say NBA Jam, but saw the playground announcement. Intrigue. Still need the He's on Fire call out. And Overwatch. He's on fire. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for answering the question. Yeah. We appreciate it. You know where to find us. Facebook.com slash married to the games. Twitter.com slash MTTG cast. Married to the games.com. We got the farms going on over there on a pop. And uh, like Ed said, YouTube.com slash married to the games. If you want to see our ugly mugs and people being scared. <laughs> Heck yeah. being a sissy with a device on my face. <laughs> uh, Eduardo. <Yeah>. Sorry. 
<laughs> He's still going. He's still going. Read us on iTunes so we can watch a sissy with a device on his face. There it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there it that is. Was a quick turnaround. <laughs> well, let's get into some questions. We're going to start with some email, and we're going to start with D. Hi, mm-hmm. are you Woo-hoo. are you good at multitasking, or do you need to channel your ninja focus on the task at hand? Hmm. Ooh, I can uh, multitask. Yeah, I, I like I like me some my, multitasking. My wife says I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't they all say that? But though? I think I think I can. She's like, uh, are you paying attention? I'm like, yeah. She's <laughs> like, everything you're saying is yeah and uh huh. You're not really like engaging me in conversation. I was like, uh huh. <laughs> You're talking. That's right. <laughs> Jeez. I'm just agreeing along and listening. And listening. I'm being That's a right. good listener. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I hear you. I'm listening and I hear you. That's right. And I see you. That's right. And I hear you. That's a good husband. And I'm playing balls right now. That's right. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I'm with you, man. I, I like I I actually enjoy the multitasking because it, it just kind of keeps you on your toes but yeah mm-hmm. I, it, but it's weird like it's different though with video games like i have to complete uh one video game at a time i don't bounce around uh with that kind of stuff so i'm definitely oh yeah that i can't do yeah so i'm too old for that but like it just in life in general i can definitely do some multitasking i don't mind it chris no i'm not good at it <laughs> <laughs> hey at least I'm you're honest. honest yeah i just All right. the, the, i mean if it's something really small then yeah sure like if i'm cooking and i'm watching a like a video i can cook and then watch the video and look back and forth but anything <laughs> of any importance is like nah man i gotta focus on the one thing i yeah. can't be doing two at a time chris is like i can walk and breathe at the same time yeah i can do that so Pretty see cool. sometimes <laughs> and i would say uh Kind of like Chris for the for the most part, no. But if I'm if it's something I really need to concentrate on, uh, like if I want to listen to a podcast, I I can't listen to a podcast and like surf the net or something because once I start reading an article, I've heard nothing the podcast said. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm a little bit I'm a little bit with you on that one. So I would say in general, prob- it's probably better that I don't. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That works. Uh, all right, moving on to Facebook at KD Matt Mather. Okay, last week I downloaded an app named Balls. Totally G-rated, by the way. It got me. Th- Are you serious? It, no, wow. I got it. That was really. A- yep. It got me. Look at that. It got me thinking. What's the game with the weirdest or worst title you've ever played? I just like Balls. I think that's great. Hmm. I'll take. I'll whoa, take that. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> hey, that's uh, that's Kale and Katie. That's the Katie from Oh, Kale, sweet. Yay. Yeah. Oh, nice. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Um, Shout out. I can't, I'm not sure. I, I've heard a few that are a bit ridiculous, but nothing that's like totally weird that I can think of. Like, for instance, um, Runner 2, the actual name of the game is Bit Trip Presents Runner 2 Future Legend of Rhythm Alien. Yeah. So, yeah. And they like purposely made it, made it really long and obtuse because they're like, we just think that's funny. So I always right. thought that was humorous too. Yeah, that's good. Um, I can't think of anything similar like up the alley of like balls. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I can't yeah. think of anything in that vein. That's a good game, Ed. Um, I guess I just played it a couple times. It was free recently. I think it's free on PlayStation now. It's like Lovers in a Distant Time and Space or something. Oh yes, yeah, yes. Um, and it's just a, a silly little multiplayer co-op game. Um, Lovers in a, a Dangerous Space Time, but that's probably the weirdest one. Man, but I think yours is I all the ones that are one. in that one dollar bundle. <laughs> yeah, yes, I listed forty six of them. A couple. Weeks <laughs> yes, you ago. did. <laughs> there you go. I would say that's three D pug adventure. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's some. When you were rattling some of those off, I'm like, yeah, okay, that's that's weird. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Good question. Uh, Josh Stapleton, Street Team. Similar to some Nintendo questions you've gotten lately, what will Microsoft need to show at their Scorpio unveiling other than price to make you guys want to snag one? I think we've kind of already said that, but for me, it's the exact opposite. I'd ra- I'd want to know the price before I snag it, because it sounds yeah. like like we've just heard the specs and it sounds great, but how much is it going to cost Man, me? Man, my Xbox don't get love already as it is. I, mm-hmm. I agree. So, I'm right there with you. Exclusives is what I need to see. Exclusives, exclusives, exclusives. Yeah. Is what I need to see. Yep. 
And I think they'll I think they'll shy away from Scorpio only games. But yeah, that's what I don't think I don't think they'll do it. A Scorpio only game. In fact, I think they've very specifically come out and been like, everything's also going to play on Xbox One S. Right. Yeah. And the, Xbox I mean, One. I don't have a like. I don't have a. I don't. Where I play games is not a 4K situation. Yeah. And so, I don't. I don't see me getting it. Just like I don't see myself getting the Pro. I'm not fanboying. Right. Right. I, I don't have the PS4 Pro either. So here's a question: Do you guys think that because all the Microsoft will have all eyes and ears at this Scorpio unveiling that they will announce at least some new IP that they're working on, some first party game of some sort. Oh, they're definitely going to announce some type of new. Like, I don't want another Halo. I, like, I would love, love to have just something brand new that's not like Halo 6 or whatever. Like, nothing like <laughs> well, that. I, I don't think. I mean, they, they shut down Lionhead. They canceled Scalebound. Yep. They shut down one or two other studios as well. They've and I can't. I have to believe that all that money that they saved from canceling that, those projects and those studios yeah. only going to mm-hmm. Scorpio. It's got to be going to something else that they're yep. keeping under. I hope so. Under wraps I love that stuff. to bring out. There's got to be something. That. Yeah, I love that. I'll be watching and just kind of be waiting on bated breath to hear to to see because I love when that stuff happens, especially if it flies yeah. under the radar like that. That would be amazing. Right. And the best looking games on Scorpio are always are the ones that have the potential to be the best looking. You're always going to be first party where they're only working on that anyway. Exactly. So exactly. It, it only works in their benefit to come out with one or two other exclusive to well I mean I guess you know their whole they're doing the whole play anywhere so it's technically exclusive to the window the Microsoft system because right, it'll be right. Xbox it's in the Microsoft or, environment. Or, uh, or PC yeah but right yeah it's only going to work in their benefit if they have a couple of things so I, I I believe until it doesn't happen if it's not going to I'm believing that they're going to come with at least one or two exclusive games that'll only be Microsoft games yep I, and and they, that need that needs to happen for them because I mean in my opinion they're getting kind of killed in that re, in that regard. Now, they are lot, they are now for sure. I mean they are they they need to kind of step their game up. So we'll see. Hmm. So um, as far as Scorpio goes for me, I'm definitely not going to be getting one right off the bat. But I will have a 4K TV by the time Xbox Scorpio comes around, and I will definitely be keeping my eye on what they're doing. But I don't see myself being like a like even my Xbox One. I only bought it in kind of launch window. Like I could maybe be a launch window guy depending on price. Right. But mm-hmm. I could see myself getting one in the first year if they they sell me on it. But I I said I think a couple weeks back on the show it's like I'm kind of in the same boat. Like my Xbox One doesn't get nearly as much use, and in the same back before that in the previous generation my 360 didn't get a ton of use. So I'm kind of like I'm gonna very much wait and see. I'm excited. And I'm, they can totally wow me, just like Nintendo with the Switch. They still have room to to win me over, but it's gonna. I'm gonna have to be won over. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm with you on that. Definitely, Josh. Thanks for the question. That was great. Brett T. Bodden. I'm taking my first road trip with the Switch this weekend, and I don't have to drive. It got me thinking. How Ooh. on earth did I entertain myself on long car trips before I got my first Game Boy? What was your favorite way to entertain yourself on road trips before portable technology? Ooh, good mm. question. Very good question. Oh, I don't think I have an answer. <laughs> uh, I we used to listen to a lot of music, uh, mm-hmm. and I would always play that like the alphabet game where you'd like pick a letter from a, a road sign or something like that, and my brother oh, right. and I would play it in the back seat and see who could get uh, A through Z the quickest. That was always fun. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. I think we did. Punch bug, yeah. I punch spy. buggy, yeah. Yeah, I guess I did do mm-hmm. a couple of those. Uh, definitely music. Mm-hmm. And yeah, probably those three: music, punch bug, and I spy. Yeah. So music, you talking about like personal, like a like a Walkman or something? Yeah, like I used to listen to a lot of Blessed Union of Soul. Oh, okay. Mm, nice. When he said personal technology, I thought that counted. So yeah, I listened to a ton of music. That's what I did. I yeah. just get the CD but, player. I mean, my I'd mom, have twelve. Yeah, CDs my mom was go. big on playing music though too. Oh world. yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, that's the best, man. Got to do that, Eduardo. Yeah, we. Yeah, if it wasn't yeah music in like the cassette deck of the car, uh, we had a game that we would play where you would 
name a celebrity and then everyone just goes around and names a movie they were in. And when you can't name one, you're out and it just goes out to last person standing. So we would play games like that. It's fun. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. Drew Barrymore, go. Uh, E.T. Chris. Uh, <laughs> you're out, Tim. Jeez. Drew Barrymore. <laughs> Uh, like good under yep. pressure. Uh, yeah, you're I'm out. out. I'm out. Scream. Oh, uh, good the one. wedding singer. Fifty first dates. Oh, you stole mine. Uh, uh, w- once upon a time. Ooh, is that what that was called? Uh, the Cinderella one. I is that what that was called? No, but that's okay. What? Sure. Uh, it, it was it called that? I'm not sure. Yes. It was sure. I don't know. <laughs> I just want to keep the uh, game going. <laughs> oh, uh, oh Ed, you're out. That's I'm it. Out. That's uh, it. Uh, nice. Well, we knew Ed was going to win that. Yeah, well, I, yes. I was going to say she she wasn't in uh, Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, was she? I'm not I sure. <laughs> I didn't see that. I never Maybe saw she it. Produced it. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised if she did. That was lame. Drew Barrymore is definitely in more than five movies. Yeah, and I feel I I may or may not have gotten on the Cinderella one. I I don't remember the name of the movie. Ever so. after, ever after, was ever the name after. Of it. See yeah. there you go. Oh, so I so win. So you win. There you go. Da, 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 right. da, da, da. Yeah. This is good. This is going to be a really good segue. And uh, moving on to Twitter at at Nick A Cooper. Who was slash is your favorite child actor? For me, it doesn't get better than little Drew Barrymore in E.T. <laughs> nice. Come Are on. you kidding that, me? Was that not a perfect transition? <laughs> That's twice now. That That's twice, is twice, twice in one I didn't episode. I know about the balls question. I know. And then Drew Barrymore. Oh, I might be psychic, y'all. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> this episode buy was you a meant to ticket. happen. Now, are you going right? to be Mr. Cleo or Mr. Chloe? Which one is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it, depends, it depends on how she acts in this upcoming uh, Uncharted game. I'm just there you go. <laughs> um, uh, Favorite child actor? Like uh, when I was a child? No, I think it's it's... Like just your favorite child actor, maybe when you were uh, as a child, but I mean, he's referencing Drew, Mar- Drew Barrymore as a child in E.T. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess it oh. could go. He said, who was slash is your favorite child actor? So mm-hmm. I guess it could go either way. Oh, either it's a toss up between Haley Joel Osment. Yep. Or uh, Macaulay Culkin. Really? Oh, yeah, man. Yep. Home Alone, please. Yeah. All right. Uh, I mean, not now. I no. don't know what he's doing now. <laughs> uh, he's, yeah. I don't know. Drugs? Drugs. I like Haley Joel Osment. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like Haley Joel Osment? Nah, oh, I really. can't stand oh, Haley man. Joel Osment. That's he my kind of pick as well. A little bit. He's like that beady-eyed little freak. Come on now. Oh, my gosh. That kid played some, in The Sixth Sense. He yeah. killed it. I did not like that movie. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh. I wanted to. You have to watch it in the theater. Mm. Nah. Yeah, yeah, a little late. For, a little late for that, Ed. <laughs> I think I Chris, actually did watch you? that one in theater. Um, I, I'm, I'd have to be with you, Macaulay, because Home Alone was the jam back in the day. Home Alone, oh, Home Alone yeah, too. Yep. Uh, Tim. Tag man, I can't think of one. Uh, you're out. I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Come on, man, you can think of one. I, Come on. I know. I gotta. I gotta. Uh, Shirley uh, Temple. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mhm. 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 Shirley Temple. <laughs> that was good, Chris. They, I'll they get were you in class on. together. I'll get you back on that one, but that was good. <laughs> that was really good. Uh, shoot, I can't think. <laughs> Cuz you're old, that's why. I don't I still don't get why Tim gets the brunt of all the old jokes. When he's because the he was second... the oldest guy on the podcast for forever. <laughs> That's true. And, and it helps that he can't you've, think of one. You've, he's like, ah. you've been grandfathered in, Ed, so it's all good. Kids in movies? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all these kids in movies. I, I can't think of one. We'll move on. Uh, if I think of Corey it, Haim? Come... No, not Corey Haim. <laughs> Corey Feldman, come on. And nor, nor Corey Feldman either. Urkel? Shoot, man. I'm Kiefer, tra- I'm Kiefer Sutherland? I'm trying to think of uh, just... Uh, Gary Coleman? No, not Gary Coleman. That kid that did the truffle shuffle and Goonies. <laughs> Shoot, you know I will say like uh, the all Sandlot, all the any of the kids in Sandlot, any of the kids from Goonies. Smalls? That's what I'll say. I love oh, that nice. movie. That movie's great. 
Which one? I've never seen it. All Corey right. Feldman. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Exactly. It's, it's Goonies. <laughs> yeah. Moving on. At Holy Headshot. Well played, Ed. <laughs> At Holy Headshot, here's a question for you. Uh, for your you. <laughs> I hate when we get the questions for Seinfeld. Yeah. I know. Gosh. Uh, Tim, Tim and Ed recently moved. What items from your childhood have survived the moving purges? Ooh, wow. Uh, to be honest, I really don't have anything because we were an army family, so we moved quite a bit. So we kind of mm. had to purge as we went. Uh, and you have any old photos? Probably some, yeah. Just if, if anything, it would be photos, and my mother yeah. probably has all of those. Ed? Yeah, fo- photos is the only thing I've got from my childhood. Chris? Uh, I, I also have photos. Um, depending oh. on what... <laughs> Well, I mean, from my childhood is what I'm saying. Um, I have video game stuff. Like, I have my SNES. And oh, nice. I have my there you go. There you Metal go. Gear Solid there you go. copies and a few things like that. I do not there have my NES. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've got, uh, I've told you guys I still have my pilot wings. Yep. Oh, yeah. I've got some VHS tapes from back in the day. Oh, and Jenny's yeah. got, Jenny's got a, like a, 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 a music box that her grandfather gave her. Wow. Oh, wow. She was like 15 or 16 that we still have. Oh, oh that's nice. very cool. That's very cool. Yeah. Good question. Good question. Yeah, that's awesome. At, oh, my computer screen just went up. All right. At Haley Zorel, our girl Haley, I think y'all are missing out by not playing Mass Effect Andromeda, but what are games you wish others would play? Infinite. Yeah. I sold it on, uh, me and Matt Marr, he, he came to the first couple of gaming spots with us today. And he bought Infinite on 360. I sold it to him. Yes. Good for you. Nice. I hope he likes it. I was it. like, you got to play this. I'm telling you, it's banging. He was like, all right. Picked it up for like seven bucks. Did you Did you kind of warn him it's weird? Nope. Okay, good. <laughs> He'll find out. <laughs> Godspeed to you, Matt Marr. Godspeed. Yep. Tim? Uh, I've always been that huge proponent of bo- Pong. Borderlands. All right. Mm. Pong. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> Throw a stick uh, at a rabbit. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, funny. Paddle That's in the ball. <laughs> ball in the cup. <laughs> exactly. Make the first wheel. Uh, um, I, I, <laughs> what'd you say? <laughs> Oh, Wait. Stuff. Yeah. What were you saying, Tim? Uh, ball in a cup? No. Uh, the games, I think I, I've always been a proponent of people playing Borderlands. I know, Gabe, you tried it I, in, and you were like, eh. And beat it. And beat and it. And yeah, beat yeah. It. yeah. Mm. I will, I'll give you yes, that. You but I, I, I do I do love that franchise. I think it's I think it's fantastic. Uh, but I'm still, now that you guys are playing Shadow of Mordor, I'm like, everybody needs to play Shadow of Mordor. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's... Yeah. that's that was one game I platinum, and I just had a, such a great time with. It's a good one. Mm. Chris? Any of the games in the Metal Gear series? Of course. I'm always <laughs> telling people they got to play them. Any of them? You would tell anybody to start just with any of them? Well, I mean, everything from Metal Gear Solid on. The first two that were on the MSX, I, I'm not going to tell people they should go back quite that Do far. Do you have but- the NES one? I don't have. I have the Metal Gear Solid Collection, which has all those games playable on PS3, but I don't have like the cartridge or anything like that. Mm. I almost bought it for you yesterday. Really, you saw it? Yeah, I've seen it a couple times, but I was like, uh, he's I've never. Got I've it. I've seen it like on eBay, but I've never seen one in person. Okay, I'm gonna get it for you next time. I'll see you. <laughs> Look at that, <laughs> Ed. Uh, Mafia Three, Watch Dogs Two, Tomb Raider. <laughs> <laughs> Telltale <laughs> Batman. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so Telltale Batman was really good. That was uh, really yeah, good. Yeah. Really good. Gosh, I didn't play that either. Jeez. Yeah, geez. that's a good one. Mm. Good question. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, that was a good one. Uh, at Dante's Belmont, if by some reason you decided or were forced to change careers, what would you try to get into? Professional pie, coffee, Ooh. biscuit taster doesn't count. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> Oh man! If this didn't work out, I uh, or, or no, what would yeah? I mean, if you had to change careers, what would you try to get into? So you haven't done it yet. Shoot, 
it would be fun to be a uh, skydive instructor. No, really? it would not. Wow. Yeah, well, that would be amazing. Get out of here. Not the answer yeah. I was expecting. You just instruct them on the ground and then push them out the plane. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> What's not fun about that? Who doesn't want to push people out of a plane? Exactly. Yeah, I've, <laughs> I've dreamt of things like that. <laughs> That's fun. I don't want to be All in a right. plane when the door opens. I don't want to be right there. <laughs> Unless I've I'll got 12 right straps either. and chains wrapped around me. It's like, okay, now I'll push you out. You just need a good kick foot. Uh, I <laughs> guess. Pow, right out. Yeah. I like See it. you. I, ah! like <laughs> I like it. Pull the cord. <laughs> yeah. Hey, when you see the ground coming, go ahead and pull that cord. <laughs> Chris? Um, Shoot. I mean, my gut was would be to say actor, but that's kind of in the same vein so i think what i would do is probably i would learn to to code in some way mm-hmm. building something whether it's applications or websites or something something so, to do with coding i'm so proud of you right now yeah <laughs> proud I, daddy. I don't think i'd like in realistically i probably would never do it because i think it's way above beyond my mental capacity but i just feel like that's a very important thing for people to learn these days and amen it opens mm. so many doors, Amen. and I just I feel like it's a very valuable tool and skill to have. Mm. There you go, Ed. I would love to be able to do uh, com- computer animation, just because I think yeah. Pixar would be amazing to work for. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great, Tim. I would. Um, I'd love to be fluent in another language and be maybe an interpreter or something, or just be oh, yeah. kind of like, nice. I think that would be really cool. And like on a battlefield? Like, no, no, not necessarily on a battlefield. <laughs> like, just like in maybe the... You know, in, they use interpreters for lots of other stuff. <laughs> I know, but that's where my head went. I mean, what a, no, like, like it, either in businesses or just in social situations, missions, Like whatever. at a funeral home? <laughs> <laughs> But, you could uh, be the next interpreter for uh, whenever Nintendo does their next conference. That's right. Oh, oh my Lord, gosh. Have mercy. Please yes, be the interpreter yes. for that. Please. <laughs> now let's uh, switch to uh, this other guy. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that'd be fun. Those poor guys. Yeah, that would be fun. That's a good answer, Tim. Yeah. yeah that is good. We got everybody? Did you go game? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You said skydive, push her out of a plane. Pushing people out of planes. Pushing people out of planes. Title. Uh, I say nothing about skydiving myself. I just no, no, you just them. want to oh, yeah, yeah. instruct them to jump out of a plane. Uh, exactly. Ke- getting pushed. Keyshawn Ramos at Keisha Dilla. How do you feel about a game having busy work? Is it boring, or is there a certain RPG charm to finding all collectibles and whatnot? I like it. Huh. I, I don't mind the busy work, especially if there's if the if a lots of that busy work leads up to like a nice. Uh, bonus, whatever that may be, if it's like... A nice payoff. Nice payoff. I know like Witcher 3 had a bunch of that stuff. They had a bunch of little busy stuff, but you got good XP and you would get good armor or weapons. And so I enjoyed it. And and yeah, I lo- I'm, love doing that stuff. Hmm. Man, it's very hit or miss for me. Yeah, yeah. does it There's depend on the game? I'm like, this is just... Yeah, if I'm enjoying... If I'm really enjoying the combat or the gameplay itself or the story, I can usually get okay with busy work and be like oh well but i want to extend my game time so i'm cool going and finding all these collectibles but if it's a bit of a struggle like i just i don't know i can't get into it but there's been times where i really like a game and there's just one task in particular like assassin's creed where it's like go get every single one of xyz yeah like animus fragments and i'm just like do i really want to do no. this again and yeah that's the stuff that i missed or that i avoided because i I had heard before the game came out that it doesn't really lead to anything. If it doesn't lead to anything, like if there's no end result, all that hard work it mm-hmm. doesn't it, like I'm not going to I won't do it. Yeah. Ed? Yeah, if yeah, like kind of hopping on that, it just depends on what it is. If it's fun, you know, Assassin's Creed, I love it. You know, I'll collect everything, you know, Far Cry, I'll collect everything. It just yep. depends on on what it is. Mhm. Uh, I don't like it. No, nope. nope. you're a mainline like guy. Work. Yeah, you're a mainline guy. I'm a story guy, man. Let's let's get. I want I want things, and I know that things can unravel through. Well, not through busy work though. No, not usually oh, no, through busy work. Not if it's like gather all work. these collectibles. <laughs> yeah, that's usually not. A thing. No, I don't like that. Nope. Nope. I pass on that. Hmm. All right. Final question. 
Go find it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> At D Spin 67. Final question. You want it so bad, you go get <laughs> you it. You go get it. Fetch, <laughs> fetch me my busy work. Yeah, I ain't going getting a bunch of bundles of wheat for you. <laughs> wheat, wheat, <laughs> wheat, cool whip. I ain't buy this. I ain't buy this game to work. I work to buy this game. <laughs> oh. All right, at Dspin sixty seven. Final question. Back when I was a kid, we had the good, the good humor man and Mister Softy. Which was your fave? Mister Softy has a soft serve on a cone. Oh, those are ice cream places. Are, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'd never heard of either. What's the good humor man? Is he an ice cream man? Yes, he's like an ice cream man. Okay. I guess him, because that's the only one I've heard. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. I don't think we had Mr. Softy. We had the good humor man, though. Really? Mr. Softy sounds like a pill you take to go to the bathroom. All right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Come on now, take Mr. Softy, and you can go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you're feeling backed up at work. <laughs> Mr. Softy, help Mr. you go. Mr. <laughs> Softy. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, Chris, you got one? Uh... So, like, favorite ice cream place, essentially? Because I got so no, confused. No, it's a good humor or Mr. Softy. I, I never went to either. I didn't know those were things. Guys. So. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, Ed? I'm with you, Chris. I never heard of either one of them. Dairy Queen. Hey. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Hashtag Dairy, Dairy Queen, Queen. was going to be my answer. Nice. Yeah. DQ. Tim? Uh, yeah, I think good humor because we, d- we had that. And uh, I would always get the strawberry shortcakes because those are awesome. Hmm. And I think he had a better song. I think he had a good song. I don't quite remember it, but I feel like I remember something about a song. Well, maybe. Hmm. I don't know. The Mr. Softy song. I like that. I like that. Good. I like that I one. Like though. It how. <laughs> yeah, it was very similar to Mr. Hanky. <laughs> exactly. The Christmas poop. <laughs> Mr. Softy. <laughs> oh, jeez, Louise. Do you want good you humor? Time Off the rails. <laughs> Off the rails. Um, so in the, thank you guys for the questions. Yes. Thank you. Yes. In the same vein as the, as the busy work, uh, comment, what is your favorite side quest? Hmm. If you remember side quests, what are some favorite ones that you would have had Mm. through games where you were like, oh man, I wish I could actually had to do more of that. That was fun. Anybody got one? I'll give you a second to think about it. You know what? Uh, kind of sticking with the same answer for the uh, the busy work, I love Ubisoft's side quests of of clearing like the uh, the radar towers and oh my Cry, gosh, I was just gonna say that. Or yep. opening those up in Watch Dogs or in Assassin's Creed, uh, opening up the uh, the the lookouts. The, uh, yeah, or in Far Cry. Yeah, yeah, all of those. I was just gonna say that. Like that's one of my favorite, and I think one of my the. The one that made me laugh out loud was the Borderlands 2 shoot me in the face side quest. That was just the best thing. It was just that. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's that little. Yeah. It's just that little side quest. Shoot me in the face. It was yeah. great. That's right. <laughs> that's awesome. Chris, you got one? Um, I'm going to real quick give an honorable mention to Horizon because it has a couple of side quests I really, really like. Gosh, I got to play so, that game. So I, I don't want to talk about them because they somewhat tie in the story and I don't want to spoil anything, but mm. they're really, really good. Um, but the one that came to mind when you asked the question was I really liked the legendary ship battles in Black Flag. Oh, That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, those, are good. Those, were, those were awesome. Well done. Really intense, but really awesome. Yes. Nice. nice. Great, great yeah. answer, Chris. Yep, that's what I was going with. Love it. Ship nice. battles. Gosh, great that game's minds. good. I loved. The, I mean, that was so fun. I could have done that all day, which I did. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> I would just turn on the game, not move the needle in the story at all, just yep. go fight ships. Yep, that was so much fun. Oh, and when you had to like attack the islands, oh, the, mm-hmm. the forts, yep. and you use your mortars. Oh, oh yep. that was Gosh. so much fun. Yep. Nice. Jeez, Louise, good job, Assassin's Creed. Can you get back to that, please? Yeah. Can you right? go back to that? Maybe we're gonna Black get it this flag, year. Black flag two. Mm-hmm. Mm. Blacker oh. flag. Electric, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really black. Electric we mean boogaloo. it this time. <laughs> really black flag. <laughs> <laughs> the blackity black blackest flag. Yeah, the blackest flag of all. <laughs> um. <laughs> what if that was the subtitle? That'd just be so crazy. <laughs> like they play this amazing trailer, and then at the end, it's like. Black flag too, the blackest flag of all. Even we'd be like even blacker. 
<laughs> yeah, we'd be like, we're excited, but boo all the time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like one of those freaking internet voted for names, yep. like the yeah. Blackity McBlackface. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, Blackity McBlackflag. <laughs> <laughs> Title. Assassin's Creed Black <laughs> Flag 4 Part 2, Blackity Blackflag. Like, there it is. <laughs> Title of the episode right there. <laughs> Oh, it's oh good. my gosh. That was good. <laughs> Let us know what you guys' favorite side <laughs> quest is, man. Use hashtag answer MTTG. I love that people Thank have to guys. listen this far into it to find out what in the world the title yeah, means. Exactly. Those are always the best. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, did I miss it? How did Blackity. I miss that? Shirley, Shirley Temple presents the blackity black blackest. <laughs> <laughs> Shirley Temple, the blackest flag. <laughs> Brought to you by Mr. Softy. <laughs> Oh my God! Presented by oh. Shirley Temple and Mr. Softy. Yeah. Softy. Mr. Softy presents <laughs> <laughs> Shirley Temple in Black Flag, the blackity big black flag of them all, starring Shirley Temple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeez, Louise. Awesome. <sighs> Off the rails. Okay. Love man. it. I'm tired enough to sing. I still have to sing a show tomorrow. Yes, you oh, do. Man. Be in Cleveland tomorrow. Cleveland right. rocks. Stand up. Nice. Yeah. Then West Virginia, then Indianapolis. Oh, Ooh. nice. So Ooh. if anybody feels like making the drive, <coughs> I'd love to see somebody. <coughs> I'd love to not have to wait till E3 <coughs> <What>? <coughs> to see it. <coughs> oh, I got something you in my throat. Gotta <laughs> you got to oh, get gosh. that checked out, man. Right. Man, Ooh. I got to go get some water. Yeah, man. I think you should. Oh, I got a you stuck in my throat. <laughs> that sounds horrible. Got a little... That's a personal problem yeah, gotta, right there. I got to take a pill for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm Gabe Patillo. Yeah, you are. <laughs> that is Tim Router. Yep. That is Ed Placencia, who doesn't live too far from Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. And that is Chris McCracken. <laughs> no guilt at all. And we, we can't even get him to answer the phone. We're trying to get him to drop I know, that's right. <laughs> and we... Good luck. Married to the game. <laughs> and we about this thing. Thank you, Shirley Temple. <laughs>